Welcome, 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 future YouTube viewers and current live stream watchers to Drama Mama Investigates. This is a special segment that I do from time to time talking about the drama of the time. Sometimes it's pop culture drama. Sometimes it's internet drama. It's not streamer drama anymore because, um, I don't know, I moved out of the streamer drama business because it was boring and I was always the center of the streamer drama. Me or Vosh. And, you know, you cover Vosh drama and Demon Mama drama enough times and eventually you just get bored of it. So, now I do bigger drama. The purpose of this show is to get to the bottom of any drama that's been unfolding on the internet or offline with the goal of catching you up to speed on everything that's happened yet and doing our best to be as impartial as possible. Now, it isn't always possible, and it especially will not be possible to be completely and utterly impartial on this particular topic because today we are talking about Sam Cedar, H3H3, and Steven Crowder. Now, if you you all probably know who Steven Crowder is, the, you know, right-wing comedic failure um and uh and cringe lord racist cringe lord who constantly does uh horrifically racist bits on his show and then tries to hide them and by hide them i mean he just you know deletes the vod quietly when they when they generate enough uh, uh an, enough of a business concern um but you might not know who the other people are ethan and Ela are H3H3. They are one of the most popular YouTube channels in the history of YouTube. A commercial and artistic success. Incredibly funny. Now, some people don't like Ethan because he's had a couple of little chuddy takes here and there over the years. But I personally find Ethan to be very, very funny. And honestly, I think it, I find him to be mostly a, a reasonable normie. And then we have Sam Cedar the host of the Majority Report, uh, which was, at one point, the only major lefty radio show on the air that wasn't just establishment Democrat. And now he runs one of the biggest lefty news networks online, the Majority Report and the Majority Report Extended Universe. We, I am a huge fan of Sam. Sam was a massive inspiration into me getting into politics and... His co-host, Michael Brooks, was also a huge inspiration to me. Uh, rest in peace, Michael Brooks. Rest in power. And today, we're going to talk about the saga of Sam Cedar versus Steven Crowder. And it's kind of funny because uh, this has been going on a long time. For, like, years, I think. Uh, at this point, that there has been a, a back and forth between Sam Cedar and and uh, Steven Crowder. And w when I say a back and forth, I mean that there was an initial attempt to set up a debate between Sam Cedar and Steven Crowder, and he backed out of it. But then he claimed that Sam backed out of it. And then he refused... To communicate with Sam. And let's just say it has gotten very dramatic. And it culminated today. With the release of the H3H3 podcast. Which featured both Steven Crowder and Sam Cedar. And you might go, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is that important? It is. And I'm going to show you why. So without any further ado, let us begin at the beginning. What a great place to begin. Allow me to grab you. Straight from the horse's mouth. Here we go. Cold Feet Crowder. Evidence confirmed by Politicon. This is a video from October 15th of 2019. The beginning of the Cold Feet Crowder saga. Which has gone on in this entire time. Let's give it a watch, shall we? Let's tune in. All right, let's watch it together. Let's do it. So look, um, as you know, we, um, we, 
accidentally got a recording of a phone conversation that happened. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Someone I from gotcha. a uh, representative of a uh, conference, if you will, that uh, was um, uh, going to was planning to host a little debate between uh, Crowder and I, and um, and uh, and of course also I read the emails um, that um, my. Um, fake proxy producer had with uh, Gavin McGinnis's fake proxy producer, and uh, those wow! Now we're just now caution to the wind. Officially oh, confirmed. Oh, Michael as Brooks, fake how we miss you! That? How we miss fake you! Fake proxy producer. Oh no, I said that at the time. Okay, it took people a long time. It to took people a very oh, long did? time oh, did? to figure okay. that out. Yeah, all right. Well, that's just yeah. the way I roll. I am uh, always a little bit obtuse, and. Um, <laughs> And, uh, of course, uh, the big revelation was that uh, Stephen Crowder just uh, will go to great lengths, even offend some of his friends, uh, to avoid, um, you know, allowing me to change his mind about anything. And uh, we just saw a uh, tweet that um, was put out by this organization called Politicon. Um, and, <laughs> and they said, since hashtag cold feet Crowder... Missed his chance to debate Sam Cedar at Politicon last year. Should we host a rematch at Politicon 2019? Stephen Crowder, you ready to step up? And then they photoshopped one of his uh, change his mind uh, posters that he sets up for himself. Let's settle this at Politicon. Tweet change has gone my out. Mind. Here you go. Um, I now I'm I'm coming back love from uh, Las Vegas. Um, because I'll be there uh, that week, but I will walk to Las from Las Vegas to wh where is it in in Nashville to Nash in Nashville if they can arrange this. I'm periscoping my hitchhiking and <laughs> I'm here to uh, I'm I'm catching rides. I'm here to terrorize cold feet Steve. <laughs> and exactly. uh, and actually, I was just with a truck driver. I had a fascinating conversation about resentment. And it was yeah. everything I always did. I had been wondering <laughs> if Politicon was going to be mad at you for making these private communications public, and I think now we have our answer. I don't know what you're talking about, Jamie. Um, but um, we also, I, I just want to say that I know that I'm a little bit jaded about uh, conservative talkers and this and that, and I think that they all just are on one Me team, too, Sam. Me too, really, Sam. The, the support that we've seen from folks like Jesse Lee Peterson. Uh, who, <laughs> oh, yeah. Who uh, went out and called for Stephen to debate me? He kind did. Of say, he did. The Reverend Literally. Peterson in particular, I really appreciate. I forgot that about that. Did he support Amazing. Us in this, but that he even connected it to his mentoring work when he told Steve, like, "Let me know how it goes." Yeah. It was encouraging Steve to be a, a better and a, a bigger man. And to then, be a incredible, man. Uh, incredible. Then, uh, my understanding is he 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 tweeted out support again for me this weekend. Also, uh, which I thought was was if really you are impressive. here, he didn't real quick pause. If you are here and you're enjoying the coverage so far, press that like and subscribe button. That goes for you too, future viewers. Uh, and if you're here already, the like button is the number one way to ensure that we get more viewers on this amazing content. I'm working for you, so please press the like button for me. Mwah. To do that, he did not have to do that. And uh, Jesse Lee Peterson came out. Thank uh, you very much for the 100 bits. Stephen Crowding debating. Quill the queer. If I did, if I, you know, read his tweet correctly, he was inviting me onto his show. Um, he said, uh, these are the words, and thinking of my PR guy, I have nothing personal. I like you both, so I made my PR, uh, PR guy take his words down, and um, uh, I never called for a debate. Amazing, but it, but it appears that he is now, and so um, <laughs> uh -oh. I, I want to appreciate Cold the, feet the support that uh, Jesse Peterson has given me. I think he me. would be a great interlocutor between you and I Steve think that would Crowder. be great. I'm happy to do it with uh, Jesse Lee Peterson. I think it would be uh, terrific, and so... But, like I say, a little jaded, but this guy, Ben Ferguson, who is a conservative commentator, correct? I have no clue who he is. Um, Thank you very much, Silas. Appreciate I, that. I believe he's a conservative commentator. I mean, the name's... He has the look of a conservative. What's that? On CNN. Oh, yeah. Scott yeah, Ramucci did it, too. And, and I just... I, I really... Kudos <laughs> to him. I gotta be honest. I have not seen this uh, yet. I haven't watched this one yet, but let's, uh, let's see what he says. All right, uh, I gotta just tell you, Stephen, um, you need to not let your dad make all your decisions for you. Oh! I'm literally doing my radio show right now. And I just want to give you a public service announcement. If you're, you need to fight for what you believe in, Stephen, don't 
have cold feet. Come on, Stephen, man up and debate Sam. You gotta stop relying on all your friends or your fans to defend you. It is time for you to be a man. Man up and don't let your dad do your dirty work for you. De debate him, okay? You gotta, you gotta debate your friend. You gotta debate Sam. I don't know if you're really fans or your friends or not, but no. you need to stop relying on- For those who don't understand, Steven Crowder's dad is literally his manager and agent. And it has been, let's just say it has been uh, surmised that it is indeed um, Steven Crowder's dad that caused Steven Crowder to get cold feet. As in his dad literally said, don't you go on with Sam Cedar. That would be a mistake for your career. Yes. Wait, really? Yes. In fact, Steven Crowder's dad is in a lot of Steven Crowder's videos. No joke. I mean that. His dad is very, very uh, involved in Steven Crowder's life. And interestingly, Steven Crowder's dad is a uh, rather influential person who also got him a lot of jobs when he was a kid. So anyway, there's the, uh, there's the backup. There's the, ba the backstory. How old is Crowder? Crowder's in his 30s. Helicopter all parent. these other yep. people to defend you. I'm just saying. So... That's my public service message. Be a real man. Man up. Debate. Do your job. Do your research. And then see if your argument actually stands up. I'll leave it right there. Have a great day. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know why you had to make it so gendered, but um, I, I appreciate, I understand on the right, they tend to do that more. And, um, and so, uh, but I, I do appreciate the support from folks like Ben Ferguson, uh, Scaramucci, and, uh, Scaramucci, and Peterson, Tommy, these, Lauren. The mooch. Well, Tommy Lauren, all these people on the right. Oh yeah, are, Tommy Loren. Know, are... I forgot Tommy Loren was one of the people who called him out back in 2019. Her, her basically telling um, old cold feet to um, to uh, you know let's have let's a do free this. exchange of ideas. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, but Change speaking of representing all Change perspectives, we also want to note, in fairness, that ET's mom encouraged cold feet to not be bullied hmm. that's right it's that's funny true. the conservative guys they all jump in with the sam side of it just generically without knowing who the politics are because they love the idea of uh boisterously challenging someone i did lro so not all of it but that, some of it i saw like that i came up in that it. team right. right right they could have gotten she on the right side of the cold war if castro just harassed pinochet with debate invitation all right so <laughs> what she thought it was an actual child that she was talking to well yeah, what? a 32 year old one. All right, let's uh, let's do this. This is uh, interesting. So there we go. That was the initial segment of them summarizing what happened. Yeah, but there's more. Of course, there's more. There's always more. And like I said, it's good stuff. So let me give you a little bit more, okay? Because we got a couple of funny memes, and I want to watch. And look at some of these memes. So here's the first one. This meme, this re meme really got me chuckling. Are you ready to see it? Let's take a look here. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm inevitable. Pause it! That's the real thing. See, the real deal is Sam snapping his fingers and saying, pause it. And real Sam fans will know that's that Sam pauses videos all the time. He's infamous for being a, a serial video pauser, which, you know, for those of us in the react industry is, is all but normal. But for people like Sam, it's a bit of a funny thing. Pause it. There's literally multiple emotes of Sam saying pause it. Some of you on Twitch will have those emotes because various channels have included them. Pause it, pause it, pause it. All right. But this isn't the only meme. Not even close, because there's some fucking epic ones. So let me give you the video meme, okay? Because I love this one. Oh, God, do I love this one. This is a good one. So prepare yourself for the Sam Cedar challenging Steven Crowder mega cut. The super cut. Oops, wrong button there. Here we go. Let's watch it. Here we go. So here's the first one. I bet this guy's gonna do anything he can to avoid actually debate. I bet that was him. That was Steven Crowder accusing Sam of doing anything he could to avoid debating him. Turns out, uh-oh. 
It's really hard to get leftist guests on our show. That's just a reality. Uh, we try and book them. <laughs> Crowder doesn't think there's a rape culture. I usually do try and get into an engagement of ideas. 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 Stephen Crowder. So, interesting. You know, now that we're talking about Stephen Crowder, three or four months ago, I was invited to Politicon. When they asked me if I would come, I said, yeah, I will, if I can uh, debate, debate someone. someone. Now, of course, I threw out Dave Rubin, and I was told that he's not coming. Competition, Competition would, would start, start kicking, kicking in. in. And so <laughs> I said, Crowder. And the people were like, great. And it all looked good. And I was told that Stephen Crowder literally stopped responding to their emails. Emails. Okay. Pretty sure the quote was, somebody got cold feet. Stephen Crowder, I am issuing you a challenge to debate. I will host you on any time, any platform, any way to debate. Really, the question uh, that Stephen Crowder should ask his Alexa is, do I have the uh, fortitude to debate Sam Cedar? No, you are not courageous enough to face a middle-aged Jew who oh, likes facts and figures. You are a coward. Stephen, I know you are watching or hearing this, and everybody else knows it too. There's no way <laughs> everybody you're else. not aware. It's true. Everybody that I did this challenge, and now. we know he you was watching. You knew it was coming when you backed out of Politicon because you were afraid of debating me. And here it is, Stephen. We'll see you soon. Uh, maybe I'm we... speaking out of turn here, but you can wear your not gay T-shirt and you can have an opening statement, right? Oh, oh. You'll let him have the opening statement, I'm assuming. Oh, sure. Steven, you can email any questions to majorityreporters at gmail.com. <laughs> I love this edit, and yeah, it does remind me of Vadim. I don't know if it was Vadim. I don't know if it was Vadim. It might have been. I don't know who made this one, actually. Let's see. Nope, it wasn't. It was made by Merkita. Interesting. But here's the link and the person who did it below. If you want it, if you want to retweet this, because I think it's personally very funny. All right. So, but we got more because thankfully, um, Sam Cedar has given us yet another helpful summary of everything that's happened so far. And we're going to just watch that because again, on Drama Mama, I collate all the information that you need so that you can get up to speed on any of this goddamn drama. And everybody loves the Drama Mamas. Let's be real. They're fun. They're good. They're wonderful. But this one's especially special. This one's special for me. So let's watch the latest update from earlier today. I watched this live. Yeah, so this, uh, improved. This won't be a this won't be a true live reaction because I watched this happen live. But, but, let's continue. I now. Yes. Um. So, uh, folks, uh, this is the fun half of the program. And for those of you who may be watching this watched show MR for the first every day. time. Uh, generally, what we do is we do a show from 12 to 1 every day. Eastern. For years. Eastern. That is the free half of the show. And we feature uh, often a long-form uh, interview. Sometimes uh, Em and I will run through the news. Um, and um, very rarely, when we go on vacation, we will pre-tape. Um, let me read this I am to enter into Listen closely, some explanations everyone. for you because I think some explanations are due you, the audience. Uh, I love Sam so much. This is uh, an I am that we got almost at the- Sam is literally the only, the only sexy social Democrat in the world. The only one is Sam. Beginning of the show. Sorry, you may not like it, and but it's, it's from true. a guy named Chowder. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Crowder, Lucas Dowell. I hmm. apologize. Which is uh, fortuitous. <clears throat> Stream resolution kind of fucked up, Sam. You're being squished horizontally, but only the camera feed logo appears normal. Hmm. And uh, that is correct. That uh, was a correct assessment of what was going on. And the question was, why? No, well, to make you look skinnier. I'm sorry. And me, incidentally. That is one of the answers. <laughs> the other answer, I should also Roasted. say, has to do with, you will look at my uh, Zoom feed today, and you will notice that my, my name, you got Emma Viglin there in the, uh, the right-hand corner of your, uh, the left-hand left uh, left uh, corner of your frame. But for me today, I don't Listen have closely, folks. I have, yeah. a, I have a smiley face. 
all of these things uh, have to do with each other. Oh, I know. Uh, We're going to watch the debate. Don't you worry, Wolf Inspire. You come just in time. Including the I am has to do with each other. Let's go back a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Maybe it was four weeks ago. I can't remember. Here we go. I got an I am. I I got uh, tweeted at. Sam, you got name checked on H3. And I was like, H3? I think that's that. That sh- it's a it's a big YouTube show, but I was like, what what like what what? Yeah. And uh, so I went to check it out, and uh, it is it is hosted by this guy Ethan Klein, who I who, you know I, I I may know some people who know him in the comedy world. He's out in L.A., but uh, you know, and he look familiar to me. That but that's probably because like he comedy looks like family members or whatever, and uh, and I was like, what what's this about? And it turns out they were talking. Have you noticed that? Wait a minute. Emma has the same color shirt as Sam and almost the same glasses. Is that... Do they always coordinate like that? I, they're, they're twins. I, I mean, this is like M, Emma heir to the fire, heir to the cedar. I, I Honestly, I, I love Emma, so. About Steven Crowder. And Steven Crowder and uh, Ethan were having a uh, some type of like back and forth. And I didn't know the details of it at the time, but their producer, Dan, at the end of the segment, turns to the camera and says, this is the only time I'm going to have to address Crowder because I know he's going to watch this. And I remember thinking like, well, yeah, this is a big, big channel, I guess. But I mean, is Crowder really that thin skinned? that he's going to tune in to every time his name is mentioned on a show. Uh-oh. I mean, anyways, let's continue. Uh, looks at the camera and says, Hey, debate oh Sam my God. Cedar. That's awesome. Ass blaster. And he Thank goes you. on about telling the story about the, the Politicon folks can go back and look for the, uh, the video that we did when I played the audio of the Politicon, uh, Booker calling me and telling me the crowd already dropped out and cold feet. Cold, in fact, he said the, she, that was her words. Yeah, that he got cold feet because his team pulled him out and his team is his, his team. dad, apparently. His team is his dad. Yes, that is true, by the way. <clears throat> his team pulled him out, but his team, his producer, his manager is his dad. His dad was like, don't do it, son. Don't go up against that that bastard Sam Cedar. And uh, I had also been invited on the Gavin McGinnis show. I didn't want to go on there, but... Uh, uh, they offered up, like, we, we got Crowder to debate, and then Gavin wrote me back and said, no, Crowder uh, doesn't want to debate Oh, you, thank whatever. you, actually, a fungus. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And uh, so that's why oh, that's Dan had said this. And are. I thought, oh, that's great. We played the clip of it. That was really nice to get that shout out. Big podcast, big show. Big show, big podcast. And then I get a DM Uh-oh. from Ethan. <gasps> like a week later or something like that. And he says, oh. hey, Steven Crowder wants to debate me. And he's like, that's not, I'm not a, I don't do a political show. He's like, I think you should come on and debate him as I'm, you know, on with him. Mm. And I was like, I, I would love to do that. Thank you. Now um, you see where this is going, huh? And so... <laughs> Now last you week, see where this call, is going. Last now you Monday, see why this has been the talk of the day. They were scheduled to have a debate. Told you it was good drama. One now, pe- before we go any further, let me just take a moment to just, uh, you know, just say, I don't do air puff drama on this show. When I do drama, it's good drama. I bring you the best drama, and I let you know why it's the best drama, just like I'm doing now, and don't you ever forget it. Drama Mama, the best drama drama show on the left Let, let's be real come on let's be real let's continue p.m eastern which is 10 a.m i think it was pacific and so you'll recall last week we started the show early and here is where i Yo, need you, to Goldfish. make an apology to You're the welcome. audience i implied that the reason why we were doing that was because i was recording the bob's burgers movie I, I would not say you implied it. In fact, you tweeted about it later. So. <laughs> well, if you <laughs> okay, hold on a second. A little, little bit of an in joke for the non-majority report heads here. Okay, for the non-majority reporters, the Bob's Burger movie is an ongoing meme that Sam talks about all the time. They, there isn't a Bob's Burger movie right now. 
Um, but Sam will use it regularly to get out of things. No, there's not a Bob's Burger movie. Um, but he will say, oh, sorry, I'm working on the Bob's Burger movie. And people go, oh, really? I like, oh, yeah, it's really been busy. Anyway, I can't do it. Um, he is in Bob's Burgers. He is a character in Bob's Burgers. Um, and But it's been an ongoing meme about the Bob's Burger movie. So just so you know. Look at it that was a tweet. White lie. If you look at that tweet, Emma. Uh, he's Hugo and a couple of other characters, but his main character is the health inspector Hugo in Bob's Burgers. But he plays a couple of characters. Yeah, the main the main character he played was Hugo. Um, yeah. I did not say. Oh, the lawyering, Jesus. Well, if you look at the tweet, bring it up. Yeah, he's can, Hugo. Can we bring this yep. up, Brendan? Can you find it? On that tweet, I did not say. I ended the show early because. I am recording uh, Hugo for Bob's Burgers mm -hmm. for See? the movie. Instead, I tweeted, and Brendan, do you have this? Let's, let's see okay. the tweet. Let's do the it investigation is, here. Um, I tweeted. Let me see if I can pull it up here on my own. Uh, I tweeted instead, sorry about the show being early, uh, ending the show early today. However, the good news is I can tell <laughs> you that... Uh, I recorded um, a uh, that 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 Hugo's on Bob's Burgers. Now all of that is true. Yeah, here it is. Apologies for the early start today for Majority FM. Yeah. So just so you know, real quick, hold on a second. Let's let's provide context before we do this, because because now everybody's going to be thinking about Bob's Burgers. Lots of people like Bob's Burgers. Here, I'll show you firsthand. Now you'll never be able to unsee it, but let's do it. Let's let's just here we go. Here we go. Wait, this is the Comedy Central one. Um Oh yeah, and by the way, he's really good friends with H. John Benjamin, who voices um Bob. Uh Bob from Bob's Burgers. Uh here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello, Bob. Guess what time it is? It's three forty five. Ron! I was doing a thing. Oh, sorry. It's inspection time. I was gonna say. Nice. Full disclosure, one booth might have a booger under it. Don't ask me how I know. Okay, Thank you, that's Tina. enough. This prep area is damp. I just cleaned it. That makes sense. You look damp. These lettuce heads are stacked weird. Is that illegal? No, it's it's just stupid. Mm hmm What So see see as you can see. And and watch this. This is this is going to be another one. Watch this. We are back. Sam Cedar on the Majority Report. Uh, next up on the program, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome uh, back to the program uh, John Benjamin, author of the um, book. It's a book. Failure is an option. Uh, welcome. To the program, John. Watch this. Thank you so much, Sam. So, uh, John. Hear? Is it okay if I drink tea? Sure. It's Bob. The whole time? It's Bob yes. from Without, Bob's Burgers. As in not talk, <clears throat> just drink tea. As you know, uh, John, uh, your book, um, Failure Ooh. is an Option. And Archer. And Archer, yes. so hot. Now uh, out in uh, paperback. Originally, it was written in a heart cover form. Prior to that, it hard, was... Hard, not hard. And that hard cover came out when? Was that about a year ago? I think, yeah, it was about a year ago. And prior to that, it was written in the form of a sitcom script for no. AMC no. television uh, that I had actually written. No. Uh, that was completely I mean, unrelated to the book, just coincidentally, <laughs> the name of your book. Uh, have you never heard the expression failure is not an option? Uh, well, I mean, prior to my writing a script about it. Do you it, think anybody ever used the expression failure is, is an option prior to your use of it for your failed sitcom? Uh, so, so, okay, so you've got the idea. Uh, by the way, again, another little bit of drama mama lore drop for those who aren't in the loop on this. Um, Every time that H. John Benjamin comes on to Sam's show, they try to out-comedy one another, and they always do a bit. 
So Sam will basically neg the hell out of H. John Benjamin, and H. John Benjamin will more or less act like Sam's being an asshole because Sam is being an asshole, and it always confuses new viewers of the show because they don't understand why Sam's being such an asshole. Also, another fun fact, Sam and H. John Benjamin went out and canvassed for Bernie and did their voices on the campaign trail. Which is really funny and really cool. <clears throat> so, yeah. Cool as hell. Anyway, uh, that's, that's, that's what we, that, there's the context that you all come here for. Anyway, that's the context you come here for. Let's continue. Okay, now you know. Now you all are in the know and caught up and we can continue. <clears throat> dot, dot, dot. Second thought. Happens to be unrelated. Yeah. But was in the same tweet. I can, however, happily report that Hugo will make a cameo in the Bob's Burgers movie. Now, the fact is, is that, no, I had recorded that a couple days earlier. What? But, but why, Sam, would you tweet that? Well, we started the show early. We oh, ended yeah. at 12. Wait a minute. I forgot another one. Um, <clears throat> Sam Cedar utilized the, uh, the platform of the majority report to convince his viewers to go to a a panel that H. John Benjamin was on and protest the panel with signs that said, put Hugo in the Bob's Burger movies and we want Hugo. And like 20 people showed up at the panel and paid for tickets and then they took up the front row and they wore signs that said, bring back Hugo, we want Hugo and all of that. <clears throat> Very, very good. And H. John Benjamin was just like, fuck you. <laughs> it's really well done. Anyway, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know, pause, but hey, would it really be a section about Sam Cedar if I didn't pause it all the time? Would it really? You'll have to forgive me the pausing. PM, which was 30 minutes before uh, the debate that 11 Crowder, to 12.30, yeah, that, if you that, guys remember. That, that, that Crowder <laughs> had planned with uh, Ethan Klein on H3. And so we connect with H3 through Zoom, and uh, like immediately after we're done with the show, and then four or five minutes later, uh, they go, oh, we just got an email from Crowder's dad that um, Stephen had an emergency uh -oh. with his uh, wife who's pregnant. And this is actually sort we of disturbing we were concerned we were con we were concerned and um and i'm being serious about that actually um and he can't do it however we will reschedule for next monday at noon and ethan says they knew that you were getting off and uh, getting off your show early and they're afraid that you're going to be debating him and i and i gotta uh -oh. say that i was like come on ethan i don't think i said that to him because i was like i didn't want to be you know rude but i was like I'm not sure about that. Like, would he really pretend that his wife who's pregnant with two kids is in jeopardy? And would he really be monitoring when our show is off the air? That's absurd. That's absurd that he would do that. I mean, how afraid would he have to be? How paranoid would he have to be that he's engaged with a debate with somebody else? Like, I'm just trying to put my mind in, in the same like mind frame. Like, I've got a debate scheduled with Tim Pool, and I'm like, uh, I'm going to monitor the show of Dave Rubin to see that he hasn't changed his live show. Because what if Dave Rubin comes on when I thought I was going to debate Tim Pool? I mean, that would probably be like the equivalent of Christmas for you. That would be, yeah, or, or Hanukkah. That, it would actually. I think it's actually. There's no. <laughs> there's, there's no equivalent. There's no equivalent. It would be a birth but, of but, another child. But I'm trying to. I'm like trying to put my head into that mind. Like, how afraid would I have to be to be that paranoid about it? And so I found it really hard to believe. But it was weird that. Hey, we have an emergency. I mean, this is the father, this is the grandfather of those kids. If I was that guy, I would be like, look, we have an emergency, can't get back to you. I wouldn't give the details, because uh, why would I? And I'd be like, it's an emergency, and I'll get back to you in, in, later in the week to reschedule. But no, they reschedule it for 12 you p.m. on Trenoir. Monday, Eastern, <laughs> which is exactly when we go live. That's so weird. Weird. But... 
I told this to other <laughs> friends, you know, friends who are not in this world. And they're like, dude, do you think that he's really that afraid of just like debating you? Like, it's not in person. It's not like you're some type of assassin. I said, even if I was, he carries a gun. He has a holster that he wears all the time with a gun. It's his costume. Yeah, I mean, he, his costume is ready to defend himself, too. Normalizing it, yeah. And, but I was like, but Ethan thought that, and he's a pretty savvy guy when it comes to, like, YouTube stuff and these guys. Yeah. And um, so I was like, all right. There's a reason they call him Stephen Coward. There's a the reason. Show. And I pre-taped the interview last Babinska week. Babinska says Steve. the awkward memer energy from Emma is very endearing. Yes, that is her thing. She is very good at that. She's a very dry, awkward memer, and that's why she has really great banter with Sam. In Wertheim. Great interview. Yeah. Um, that's why I had to step out. Yeah. Well, if people watch the show today, they noticed also that we were stretched. And that is because we're back in the studio and we haven't quite set up our system to do the show and to output it. And so we were just like, oh, fuck it. Let's just run it. And so we pre-recorded the intro and the outro to make it for today at like 1030. You coordinated your shirts very effectively. And, and Emma kept reminding me. And that's why I was like surprised. I was when like, Emma make sure you wear the same shirt each time. Y yes. yes. And then Matt was furiously trying to stitch it together so that we could turn it around in time. Oh, and my God. And we connected with. That is so sinister. They literally put a fake, the pre-recorded opening so that nobody would know they weren't going live. I love it. This is why. Oh, my God. Sam Cedar is just. Ah. Uh, do you see why I love Sam Cedar? Do you see? I'm sorry. I told you there was no way I was going to be impartial in this because fuck, St fuck Steven Crowder and God, Sam Cedar is amazing. It's fucking ingenious. Um, with Ethan's show, H3 via Zoom. And that's why I have in my logo in the left. You're right. Right there right there, there is a smiley face because I wasn't sure how we were doing this. And I know that when we're bringing somebody onto our Zoom, you see their name first and their audio is connecting. And I'm like, just in case Crowder, and let's go around the room right now. I, I love Brendan, I want you to participate in this. Um, well, wait a second, let me just pull it up. And so we connect with uh, Ethan and he says, look guys, Not yet, Dan, Butterfly House. We're gonna do it after technology this. guy has figured Fresh out like, it's gonna be Crowder's Zoom. You get to see Zoom. the Demon Mama live reaction. So you're not gonna come on to the Zoom. We're gonna be able to just feed you in to the, uh, to the Zoom. And, um, and so we're sitting here. I think I shot like a video during it. We're just waiting. Oh, you're calling me a and, simp for Sam? Uh, ah, yeah, watching I'm the a simp IMs for Sam, okay. With the, the ratio is messed up. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, okay. people are going to be... Um, people I can't wait to t see the videos I took, to be honest. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it is... By the way, um, just so you all know, this right here, this little smiley face that you can see down here in the corner, this is Sam Cedar doing the equivalent of the Pepe. When you all post Pepe in chat, when you all post Pepe in chat, this is the same thing. He did just that. He's he's doing a Pepe, but but that's like the the Gen X version of Pepe. It is. It's Pepe. It's he's doing a Pepe. Just so you all know. And thank you, and Butterfly so House. I love it too. We're waiting for for this, and I can see what's going on there, and um, and then at one point. They show Crowder's empty seat in his oh, studio. No! And he's not coming on. Oh no. Until two minutes after we launch our show. And we did it like a minute or two early, right? Yeah. Oh my God. He's literally so afraid. He was sus. He was so sus. He was like, oh God, Sam's gonna get me. Sam's gonna get me. Yeah, we launched it around 11.58 just so that we would like we could do this and yeah this show actually started right on time today which uh, crowders people should have noticed something was up when that happened well i mean that presumes that they were actually monitoring our show it does presume that it does presume that it does let yes. me just i think it does presume that it's a bit presumptuous we're gonna end the story here ladies and gentlemen so no they don't end the story here but i way. can tell you as you can tell they don't end the story here 
I want like people can can I am in the, what their uh, yeah what I love their Emma. Emma's amazing take what they think would happen. In fact, we should probably put up teasing. a poll. We should probably put up a yeah. poll. What did Crowder do when and Ethan like? I gotta say, Ethan is like he's like he's a genius at this. I yeah. mean, he just and and not yet. We're gonna. I'm though, curious. Husker Let's we're just go around it, the, the studio right That's now. That's what we're about to do. So get comfy. And guess you're about to what, see my fresh reaction. What to happened? It. And I will fresh say this: reaction. No one here guessed what Crowder would or did did or did not do that really was the icing on the cake. Yes. Right? Now, I don't want to give away anything. That's it. Yeah. Because um, Ethan is going to play this. No, you're not late. For Holic his Master. subscribers, just, I think, tonight as to part to of to his the show. And I think they the get back. early you release. And the then I think the drama people can stuff. see it tomorrow see after this show. I think it plays. Um, and we'll, of course, cover it once. And then once, if anything happened or not, we this is will, the I mean, there's a chance that what happened was Crowder calmly dispatched you in an intellectual debate. Well, let's go through the different scenarios. I mean, there's really only three scenarios. Um, one is... He hung up immediately. He hung up immediately. Mm -hmm. The other is we engaged in a debate. He won. I won. It was a draw. One is that as True, soon as it happened, Rekhan. I had a heart attack. True. Obviously, I didn't. Hey, Husker, do. I wouldn't have recovered this quickly. Ya. But yeah. but maybe he had a heart attack. Um, no one no one had a heart attack. It's really one of those two things. Um, that's the, or that's the, what was it that Sam did with the pre-recorded video? So they had a hunch. So let me explain. Sam had a hunch that basically uh, Stephen Crowder was trying to avoid getting trapped by uh, by H three H three. And so what they did is they made a pre-recorded intro that looked like they were live and they set the pre-recorded intro to be seamlessly set so that they could continue the show afterwards. And they started the show by playing the pre-recorded video so that Steven Crowder would think that Sam was live and could not appear on H3H3. But in truth, he could. And to, to, to Steven Crowder's credit, he was correct to be very sus, but he got outwitted by the old fox, by the old gray fox, Sam Cedar. Ab yeah, literally JoJo move, unbelievable, super incredible. Only third option is- Well, there's a third artifact. option is that there was just like, you know- A lot of acrimony? No, a lot I, of acrimony. I meant the gray fox, like from, from, uh, from the, the gray fox, from, uh, from, uh, Oblivion, the, the thief, the thief who no one knows, who gets away with every single heist. Money and finger pointing and <laughs> hurt feelings. Um, from one end. From, from any end, it could have happened. And we're, we're all talking hypothetically now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I just want to say that. Segmented times would be fine at night. If there was any just type DM of it situation, to me on Discord and if, if you're I the first one, you went unarmed. Win. I'm trying to normalize not wearing a holster on your YouTube show <laughs> with, with a gun. <laughs> Try and normalize that for YouTube hosts. Um, but I do This want is what, to... remember earlier when I told you today, remember earlier today when I told you that Sam was just literally beaming through this entire segment? Yeah, was I lying? You can tell when Sam is truly pleased with himself, he can't hide it. And this is the look of a man who is truly pleased with himself. Right, so let's, he can't let's stop. Just, predictions go around. Look, Emma, what was your guess as to what would happen? Instant. I love guess it. Was try, try and put yourself in there. Don't cheat. Well, you know, I was, I was worried going in because he'd already gotten cold feet so many times, right? Hashtag cold feet Crowder. I was concerned that he would back out again and we would have had to Be come in before before the debate even happened with Ethan. Yeah, I was worried that he would see maybe that there were some differences in the show, 
since he's clearly monitoring the show. And he's not clearly monitoring. We haven't established that yet. Oh well, oh. yeah, right. I'm yeah, sorry don't about presume, that. Sam. I, I thought that I mean, don't at presume, the time Emma. going into the debate that don't it presume, seemed like Emma. he was monitoring Come on. Come on, or whatever what the happened. Fuck? Um, the potential debate. It seemed like he might have been monitoring the show, so I thought that maybe he would just uh, back out or immediately hang up. I'm not saying. Leah, thank you so much that for that the tier one happen. gifted sub. Um, and I'm not saying that it did thank happen. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Matt, do you want to? What is it? Oh, okay. honor system is fine. <laughs> you should get on the mic and say it. You're that. not on the mic. <laughs> uh, I'll just, in the meantime, I'll read a couple uh, IMs. Uh, Crowder, uh, my border collie named Sam. Crowder claimed another emergency and ran out of the room to change his undies. Um, uh, Big Dick Cheney says Crowder bailed immediately, didn't he? Um, he did just tweet something. He did? About uh -oh. Well, hold on. He Let's tweeted. get to that Twitter tweet in a second. Matt, uh, Brendo, get oh, Matt, what did you Sam, think your... Um, so I thought, you know, it. Crowder was going to win Too the debate so soundly that I wouldn't role. have a job on Tuesday. That I mean, that, that could have been a possibility. I could have gotten tranced in such a way that it was so... Uh, um, or tranced? Tranched? Trounced. What am I? Tra tranced? Tranced? Trounced. Trounced. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, I mean, I he could have just, like, I, I could have mispronounced you. something. He could have gone off on that Sam for Cedar, an extended totally. period of time. Wait a minute. Dweeb Chan, Dweeb Chan from Twitch chat says, is Sam Cedar hot? I don't want to objectify, but the guy's kind of cute. I'm sorry, but Sam Cedar's hot. Sorry. You might not like it, but it's true. Sam Cedar's hot. Sorry. Just true. You, you don't like it? Fuck you. Even, even gay motherfuckers like me can recognize that. That Sam Cedar is absolutely hot. He's not a boomer. He's a Gen Xer, and he's very, very proud of it. Sam Cedar is a Gen Xer, and he's proud of it. So don't you ever call that motherfucker a boomer. He'll kick your ass. Uh, Ledger, Ledger Domain says, I have a straight boner for Sam Cedar. I regret to inform you, you have a gay boner for Sam Cedar. There were so many ways in which he could have uh, destroyed me. That's true. And That and is just that a normal boner. Maybe uh, in some way, like, hinder... Um, Matt's, uh, you know, future on the show uh, for, for all of us, really. Um, Brendan, what what it was your um, what was your uh, um, oh he uh, what was your uh, sense of what you would do? Um, somewhere between uh, what happened and true, I Walter mean, L. Well, true. no, no, you can't say that because we're true not. We're not doing like that. I, I think. Um, well, how can I give anything without revealing like something that happened? I'm saying what was your mindset before the de all right You're disqualified because now you've given a hint as to what happened. All right. I don't know. Correct. No, I'm not okay. I didn't <laughs> I thought that If we were successful in jumping on that zoom that Crowder would just immediately cut the feed and go like we're having technical problems His producer would come back. We're having technical problems. We just had a power outage that would involve really quick thinking, and, and, I, and I have to say this, and, and this is a little bit... I, yeah, I'm Martini hesitant Peterson. to say this because it, people can misinterpret this, like, Sam, you're so full of yourself. But that would have involved, like, at least some pre... That would assume that Crowder was nervous about something like this. It would uh -oh. assume that Crowder uh -oh. would be afraid to debate me if he actually did. As opposed to just being like, I'm not going to give that little dick the satisfaction oh, of debating. Yeah. That he would be genuinely, because this is he's not giving me the satisfaction in that scenario. He's actually being the bigger man. Let's pause. Right? It. He's the one who's Let's saying, like, the content. powerful I am than the person who bushwhacks me is to say, okay, you've had yeah, your you could be an OGM. Now let's do this. I'm not Becoming inviting you on the show. I find this to be petty and silly, and it shows how juvenile you are, Sam. This is how I would have reacted. But you know what? You wanted to fight. You wanted to, to fight me in the arena of ideas. If you want to get into the ring, as it were. Yeah, look at that morseshoe. Okay, you're here now, Sam. And now I'm going to pull you apart. I feel confident because I have the truth on my side. I have the truth. I have the intellect. I've been doing all these change my mind things. That's the way that I would have done I it. I have the moral upper hand in this situation. Absolutely, right. because I was bushwhacked. I mean, that's what I would have done if I was crowded. Uh, and so, but I assumed what he would do is just like, uh, at least be aware of like, look, if this goes sideways, guys, we just pull on the plug. The Zoom connection's bad. We say our power went out. We're going to have to reschedule another time. 
and we'll never get around to it. Or we'll deal with that, that later. That would have been wise. Okay? Certainly if Sam shows Sam. up on there or, or anybody or if there's any. Because Ethan had told us that Stephen's dad had written Ethan and said, no tricks. No what? hygiene. Oh, no. This is so embarrassing for Stephen. Oh, my God. Literally, no tricks. We don't, I don't want to see any of that sneaky. Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. It's so bad. Listen, I don't want to look. I don't want to say that there's some some weird shit going on there, but I do find it weird that that uh, Steven Crowder and Steven Crowder's dad were so afraid that that Ethan Klein would sneak Sam in. Oh God, it's just so weird. Okay, listen, look. I I, I don't know. Isn't that a little weird? I, I don't know. We'll go. No, right. We'll go. No funny business. No funny business. And Daddy, so, help. which I mean, help it could me, have Daddy. meant you. Or it could have meant could have you meant know, anything. But it definitely like a, a, yeah. If you're a cop, you have to tell me. We'll be cushion or something. No, we don't. Okay. Okay. Where we are now with the knowledge of what has happened, we don't know. So all go that we it. know is. Oh, hey, YouTube don't know. Crowder canceled a week. I was the 420th person to like this stream. Let's go. Thank you, Desmond Church. Happy to have you. And all of you who are here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Anyway, thank you very, very much for the dono and for the like. Deeply appreciate it. Go ahead. Clip me. Clip me. I don't care. He could go. Ostensibly because there was a crisis with his pregnant wife. But he minutes after our stream ended. Minutes after our stream ended. Could have been a coincidence. He rescheduled for 12 p.m. Eastern when we go live normally. Could have been a coincidence. Hey, Dylan Josh. Happy to have you. And that's all we, we know. Maybe we'll never know for sure. Well... Wait, we, no, we, have an we might have a better sense. We have oh, we may not! From, uh, from Binder, who just messaged us on, in the chat, says, Tell Sam my guess is his dad physically pulled him off screen, <laughs> a la pulling someone off stage with a cane. <laughs> and then his dad said in person to the camera that Matt Steven Binder. had a sudden family emergency. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh... But it sounds like he's playing, you know, uh, whatever the case may be. 978-degree chess. Um, well, that is what, you know, he yes, just tweeted. Yes, Now, Steven Crowder has just uh, um, tweeted out um, 978-D chess. Now, I guess that's a way of mocking... I guess he just lost at 978-dimensional chess. He also lost at one-dimensional, I mean, or three-dimensional chess, too. <laughs> He, he, he lost in, in ways that if I was his dad, I would be very disappointed. It's like, you think I lost this, but actually a really complicated chess. game that nobody Oof. else understands shows that I actually won this. That's right. <laughs> oh, I'm, is that what he's... Oh, oh he could be arguing Steven that Carter's so out of he's okay, actually listen, playing everybody, a... Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Now listen, I got to tell you something. I have an appreciation for the fact that Sam is willing to punch people that are way below his weight class. Like, Sam is absolutely willing to just deck Steven Crowder, even though Sam's brain is, like, titanically larger than Steven Crowder. Sam's just like, nah, it's so good. Oh, oh, God, I love it. Oh, it's, look, it, it, from one person who loves creaming dumb chuds to another, oh, it's so good. The alpha males are back. True, they are. Sam Cedar, double alpha blind male. situation, right? Like where yeah. he actually is operating on such a higher level uh -huh. that now. So look, folks, I would love to tell you more about the story, but um, we're going to have to wait for tomorrow. But I will read some IMs. Uh, but I just want to make it clear some major points here. They canceled minutes after we ended our stream last time. Claim that his wife had an emergency that they had to go to the hospital for? Honestly. And, uh, and then came on <laughs> to Ethan's show moments after we went 
live. H3. Yep, H3. Just so, so people know. Just yeah. so people know. And so, look, I want to apologize to our audience. I, I don't know that we told an outright lie, but we certainly obfuscated. How am I supposed to say this? Obfuscate. Obfuscated the truth. And for that, I apologize. Lion Sam. But I think, Sneaky Sam over here. I, I, I think you'll find Sneaky it worth it. Sneaky Sam. That's all I can say. I mean, I don't know, but I, but I, but if I had to guess. All right. So we got, let's make it happen. So episode of the H3 podcast today is my first ever debate against the one and only Steven Crowder, who, it, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Steven Ethan, Crowder. Mexican stand beer. is oh. good. Who's standing up? Ethan, please stand Ethan. up. Ethan, oh man. Ethan, please stand up. <laughs> who am I to disobey our, our great, uh, glorious leader? Um, Crowder like challenged it. me to a I debate. I like Modelo. I think Modelo's good. He called personally. me a layup. He said layup. I was stupid. Well, Steven, I think the debate speaks for itself. Steven Crowder, for those of you that don't know, is probably one of the most hateful, bigoted people on the platform. Oh racist. my god, I didn't even notice that Ethan's wearing a double holster too! <laughs> I didn't catch that, I thought he just had a backpack on! <laughs> homophobic Power I mean, move. pretty much hits every box are they all wearing holsters uh, we made this big beautiful compilation of some oh of his greatest God. hits but it's actually so heinous and offensive that youtube uh age restricted the first upload of our video <laughs> so that all is available for our oh, members so the full, for with the whole compilation and everything which is you know adds a lot of atmosphere but uh for the sake of this version we had to cut all of that out but um he is, uh, let, let's just take my word for it in that case, a giant douche. Well, my, <laughs> my tip. A giant douche. True, Ethan. Truer words have never been spoken. I am so fucking happy that this happened. This is the, this is just, oh, it's so good. Oh, I, I love this. This is a, this is like an intersection of the stars of all of my favorite things to see happen. But Stephen came when he said that our clip about COVID, when we were saying it's okay to listen to scientists, said it was his favorite clip I don't have a of all time. We went back and forth should, for people though. who have been following. And Stephen boldly challenged me to a debate <gasps> and a video titled, Your Move, Ethan. I will you invite you jerk. on the show, uh, Ethan Klein. I will have my, you know what, I'll follow you on Twitter. I will have... Darren, my booker, reach out where you can come on this show. Darren's his dad, by the way, right? Just say Darren's your dad, his bro. Darren's dad! He keeps trying to hide that it's... I forgot Darren Crowder is literally his dad. Oh, shit! It's his dad. You guys will get more info about the dad. But uh, Darren's his dad. We usually go after uh, political figures, science, authoritative no, sources. No, 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 I, right did, I did know that anti-corporatist. I just forgot that, like, literally, he doesn't call his dad his dad. He calls him Darren because he doesn't want people to realize that his entire show is made by his rich, influential father. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. This show, usually those are the people who we have to debate. Change My Mind is not a debate, but we've had politicians, scientists, Pulitzer winners, uh, and every now and then... Chetty310 says, imagine being his age and still being on a leash, Keck W. There are people who would pay good money for me to put them on a leash, okay? So I'll have you know. A layup crosses our, our, our path who, we, you know, we just, just kind of like the stick that you're only capable of. Now, in our original video about Crowder, we had noticed that he had reached out to me to book me on his show. And he was kind of butthurt that I ghosted him all this time. And in this video, he claims here that he never reached out to a, a booker and that, that I'm lying about it. So here's what he says about that. I'm going to assume that you didn't blatantly lie in some of the things that you said, that you're just really lazy or incapable of your due diligence. So you said some, we'll get to a female booker reached out to you for the show. Hey, Gerald, have I ever had a female booker? Uh, that's, that's a no. Never, yeah, that's ever, a negative. ever. Now you're either lying. We don't work with women on this show. So that's impossible. <laughs> or you're so... I love Ethan. Lazy. 
Because I don't want to bully you, and Daddy then you go and try to get some. You You're so lazy. Bits. You didn't even just verify the fact that it was complete. Well, I, you know what? I uh, actually, I took this to heart. So I said, you know what, Stephen? I am going to look into this. I'm, I'm so I excited for this. I found the email that Again, was sent to me. I've it was never very seen this. Not even seen a clip of it. Um, and it still had her it. social media contacts on it. And so I followed her down on Instagram, and I said, hey, blank. Did you ever do booking for Louder with Crowder? I'm just trying to verify that this email I got from you invited me on the show is real or not. Thanks. Here's the email, by the way. Super professional. Definitely a real email, by the way. Uh, this one in particular. She immediately responded to me. She said, yes, I did booking for him years ago for a few months. I'm not uh -oh. quite sure whose contact you'd have now. I know his dad does his booking for him, though. From the horse's mouth! The gold mine, the gold mine of tea. It's just platinum. This is b b freshly brewed golden tea. Oh my God, from the horse's mouth. Let me know if you need it to try his finest contact. Interesting that she knows that detail. That makes me think that is very real. And that he's lying about inviting me on his show. How odd. Daddy does my booking. Well, yeah, and, and while we're talking about lying, Stephen, why don't you tell him that you never filed a lawsuit? Tell, tell us if you filed that lawsuit against YouTube, Stephen. Come on, be honest with your viewers. And, you know, Stephen says he doesn't want to bully me, but here he goes on to say this. And I am very, and I am feeling very insecure now that Stephen has taken a shot at me. <coughs> Wait, the Kleenex. Let me just say, first Wait. of all, you have... Hold on a second. Ah. Get now, we were making fun of the fact that Stephen had Kleenex on his table, which is pretty funny, let's be honest. He's sitting there with gun holsters and tissue. I mean, what, is he crying every second? So listen to this. Get out of here. Uh, that's due to allergies, okay? Uh, so I had, I had a bronchial thing, which is, community guidelines, in immutable condition. Oh. It's genetic. Oh, poor Steven with his allergies. Don't put the tissue on your desk. It's funny. All right? Don't get so twisted up. He was Look how twisted off, he gets sure. about me laughing about him crying all the time. He needs a box of tissue on his desk. But I guess there's a ceasefire here so we can talk about any genetic conditions like sure. the lack of chin, lack of beard, 120-pound mm. man wearing the Cinderella bandana on his head. That the one I didn't get. What's the 120-pound man? Cinderella? I, I don't... I couldn't really follow. If he's it. talking about me, I'm, 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 I am not 120 pounds. Trust me, dude. What? We don't Why have a... <laughs> right. Yeah, d Ethan is Ethan is a chunky boy. Everybody knows that. It's part of the bits. Ethan is a chunky boy. Haven't you ever seen? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find us all the amazing picture. There's the um. There's so many incredible pictures. Hold on. Here we go. Look at this. Look at it is literally part of their. I mean, Ethan is a, is a proud chunky boy. Look, look. Ethan, very proud, chunky boy. Look at that. Yeah, oh, oh shit. Oh shit, we got some good stuff. Look at this. We got it all. We got, look, we got chunky Ethan, thick Ethan. We got thick Ethan here. Look at that. Holy moly. Oh, well, we got even more. Oh my god, we've got even more thick Ethan. Holy shit. Look at this. We got cake. We got Ethan cake. Ethan cake. Ethan cake. Dumpy. He's got that badonka. Look, the classic Ethan. Look at this. The classic Ethan art. Look, we can even go back. Proud, chunky, chunky boys. Yeah, we're dishing out the... We're di Look! We even have more! Look at this! It's just endless! The evidence is endless! Look! We even have live photograph, a real photograph of Ethan H3H3. This is uh, incontrovertible evidence. Where's this one? I want this one. Hold on, this is the real one. Where's the image? I want to see the image. Here we go. Look, we even have final conclusion. Pregnant Ethan and pregnant Ela. Do we have the hazmat suit? True.
Yes, yes, we have the hazmat episode. We do. We do indeed have the hazmat episode. See, this is why you tune in. You tune in to my show so that you get the full context for all of Ethan's silly nonsense, including the sexy hazmat pose. Look at this. Look at that. You can't beat that level of thick. Cinderella banda bandana? Oh, we got Vape Nash? Yeah, we know Vape Nash. Listen, all I'm going to say is that this was my, this reaction right here was basically my reaction for that entire panel today. Look at this. What, is this not true? Is this not my entire reaction for that panel that happened earlier today? I was just sitting there like this the entire time. Because the level of cringe, by the way, the context for this, just so you all know, this is from a video about cringe. It's from atomic level cringe. And anyway, we've now seen everything we need to see. I'll close all of these now. You now understand that Ethan is indeed a, a thick boy. Yeah, I went on a weird panel earlier and it was very awkward and, and people told a bunch of jokes that bombed. It was, it was very uncomfortable and weird. But it was a panel and panels are panels. Well, anyway. And to compensate with a beard that he uses just for men or the That's eyeball my phrase like E.T. in the cornfield? It's so stupid, bro. <laughs> the point is. I always think it's like hilarious when people actually go to the debase themselves to making fun of my Tourette. You know, it's like, well, okay, dude. I really got you hard with the tissue thing, bro. Just don't yeah, put I the mean, tissue you, on. I can't hide my Tourette. You fired the first volley by oh, yeah, making by fun the of way, his out. That's true, just so you know. Like, Ethan actually has Tourette's. You'll notice that, um, like, like if you, he's actually done blogs about it. It's actually true, though. Yeah, he actually does have Tourette's. He has facial tics. And and he does, he, he blends them into his comedy really well. Yeah, he's very open about it. It's super cool. I respect him a lot for that. Allergies. Your like. allergies, dude. <laughs> I. Which you didn't Crowder actually has do. A disability. Yeah, we didn't yeah. realize he, I, he had know. a disability like that. Yeah, I'm so sorry, bro. Ableist month. I had all that coming. Should I scroll back to when he said something about a bandana? Sure. Let's 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 do that. I don't know. Let's see. of beard, 120 mm. pound man wearing the Cinderella bandana on his head. That one I didn't get. What's the 120 pound man? Cinderella? What does that mean? I, I don't. Cinderella. I really if he's it. talking about me, I'm. 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 I am not 120 pounds. See, I don't get me, it. Dude. I don't get it. We don't Why have it. <laughs> right. Well, anyway. And to compensate with a beard that he uses <laughs> just for men, or the That's eyebrow my phrase favorite. like "et" in the cornfield. It's so stupid, bro. <laughs> Ethan the point is, is Jewish. Yes. I always Ethan think it's Jewish. like hilarious when people debate actually go to is the that, was that is that a is that a <laughs> debate themselves thing? to making fun of my Tourette you know it's like well, okay dude I really got you hard with the tissue thing yeah bro. it does Just look like he's yeah. indicating tissue. A, I can't a hide my Tourette you fired the first volley by making fun of his allergies yeah, it does look your like allergies that. dude <laughs> I it's probably a Jewish thing didn't yeah. actually do. Has a probably an yeah thing. we didn't yeah. realize he, I, he you know, had a disability like that yeah I'm so sorry bro ableist month I had all that coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm deeply offended, though, at the bullying uh, portrayed, and I take absolute cross with that. You know, I mean, I know what a Dan I, I know had this what a one moment is, that actually went a little bit viral in the what does that political mean? community that Stephen notably ignored during our tit for tat. I'll play it for you here. And this is where I'm leading to. to. A lot of people, but just because I feel like there's a decent chance Stephen Crowder will see this and. This will be the only time that I get to say this. Debate Sam Cedar, dude. Stop being such a pussy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know that your dad doesn't wrecked. want you to. Uh, and, you know, but that was a long time ago. That was three, I'm you're, sorry, you're three years older awesome. now. It's time. It's time to debate Sam. <laughs> so. Do you, ah, and notably, he doesn't include this. He watches the whole clip, but not the debate Sam mm. Cedar. Weird he didn't cover that part. He now, went into a lot of detail on everything else. Oh, yeah. Oh, exhaustive detail. Huh. Now, who is Sam Cedar? Sam Cedar is the host of a political left-leaning show. You want to know who knows who Sam Cedar is? We do, because you've been watching Drama Mama, so you know everybody who's talked about in this. You know everybody, because you watch Drama Mama. And Drama Mama always teaches you everything you need to know about the drama. Isn't that cool? Oh, called The Majority Report. Has a million subs. He's a big channel. 
Crowder famously backed out of a scheduled debate with Sam at Politicon, earning him the name Cold Feet Crowder at the behest of his dad. Sam secretly recorded the phone call with the organizer of the event who exposed Crowder. Here's the call. Yeah, that's a real shame. I about think you're, Crowder. you're bigger. Yeah, I, you're bigger. I, I don't know what his team is doing around him, and that's, you know, just for me to speculate at this point. Um, he, I don't know. He has a team? He, he has a whole team doing. and he won't do it? He can bring the team. I believe it's his father, but I can't yeah. confirm or deny that. <laughs> By the way, everyone seems to be confirming that it's his dad doing This is not this a joint. Shit. This is just a clove. I'm I'm hopelessly addicted to cloves right now because life is tough. That's all. Find the scene somehow. So people speculate that actually he actually backed out of the debate because Sam is actually, you know, an informed, good debater. True. And they were afraid True. that, you know, Crowder would look like an idiot. And so he backed out at the last minute at the behest of his father. Of course father. I do, Moshi. The thing is, he's happy to challenge me, somebody that has no political, not very little. I don't spend my day t talking and thinking about politics, nor am I a debater. Nor am I, let's be honest, intelligent. That's not so true. You, right? Okay, be look, 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 look. Listen. Ethan, you might not be the most politically in tune person ever, but you are absolutely intelligent. Nobody can be as funny as you without being intelligent. I'm sorry, that's just true. So with all that being said, we figured let's get someone who is familiar with the topics, who does spend their time thinking about politics, and who is, you know, true, unlike though, me, smart. You bring smart. up a great point. Counter, so we've got a little me. surprise I'm getting for Stephen Crowder. Right so let's all enjoy the debate. I'm really glad to have uh, my next guest on the show. And I've always said this, I always respect people who um, enter, the, enter into the arena. Um, you and, you know, we've had a lot of debates on this show, which is different from like a change of my mind where we sit down and have conversations. But uh, my old Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach always said, if you come a switch, we go switch. You go spicy, we're going to do a little spicy. So we always try and uh, keep it as respectful as possible. And I really do appreciate the guy making the time because a lot of people haven't, has a huge YouTube channel, several what YouTube channels, fuck? one of the OGs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people watch him. Uh, you know him. Some of you like him. Some of you don't. Same can be said for me. Ethan Klein from H3H3. H3. Uh, Ethan, thank, thanks, man, for making the time. You're very well. Pause it. What you will observe here is Stephen Coward quivering in his double gun holsters. Let me tell you something. Let me, st let me tell you something, okay? If you are armed to the teeth with double holsters and you're not at a convention cosplaying Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4 and you have double holsters, you are a scared person, okay? No person needs to be armed with two guns at all times. That is a virtue signal, but it also tells you that you are a coward. Come on. That's ridiculous. Nobody needs two pistols, ever. There is no self-defense situation unless you are literally going into a war zone. So either or both, you are a coward who is desperately afraid of every person that you see or you're a LARPer or both, of course. Welcome, and I just want to say, I know you called me, you said that I would be a layup. <laughs> I, I think fine, that something like fine. that. And yeah, I think yeah, you're yeah. right because I don't think I'm a very good debater. Oh, I know, I think Moshe. you know that. I know. So, uh, I didn't want to make it too easy for you. Cobalt Swiftpaw, I'm so sorry. I'm a bad influence. I can't help that. I do my best to be a good influence, but it is true that I, I have an oral fixation. I love smoking, and I will, I promise you, it will not be a long-term thing. I have already planned it out. I promise you, I know you imps care about my health, and I love that about you. I really, really do. And I'm sorry that I'm a bad influence, but much love anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm edging chat. You know I'm fucking edging chat. I'm going to pause all the time. We haven't had a wild stream like this in a long time, and we're going to have this one. Oh, okay. So uh, I've prepared. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so Dan, what we were going to talk ready. about is, uh, what we were going to talk about is, you know, the initial quote that happened. I think he's looking off there. Uh, the right, initial Jordan. quote that kind I'll of was advice. turned into um, a little bit uh, of a meme, right. which wasn't cool. intentional. And uh, was you saying you don't even have to think about it I'll, regarding I'll the CDC? Hmm. Uh, and I disagree with that. Um, I think people should think about it. I think. believe 
And we just talked about this through playful ribbing and an aggregation of medical authorities and scientific voices to make an informed and rational decision. Um, so where do you think I that, be, I was, yes, that I'm Andrew wrong? Brad, I will be getting a stem. Stephen, do you know that um, the Spartans are, that they are like uh, practice man love with children? Oh, geez. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I to what did I tell you? He was going to do anything he could to avoid. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, no, Sam Cedar. What a, whoa, oh, what a fucking nightmare. You, I had no idea this was going to happen. I thought, I thought Ethan was a stand-up guy. Oh, so this is where we are. Wow. Yeah, I told Dave, Dave, remember I told you? I told you. I said, this is, I guarantee you, he's going to do anything he can to avoid the debate. Oh, I just think he believes that he should debate no. you. That no, no, drunk. he doesn't. He just that takes advantage of, of women with... That guy right there that you're listening, that guy is drunk. I'm telling you right now, I have drunk a vision. I can always tell when somebody's drunk, that guy is drunk. That guy is motherfucking drunk. I'm telling you. You know, mental health Steven, issues. Ethan Klein know, doesn't I, stand up and do to his own I fighting. I say... Right. It's just hilarious. My Let's bring on FM. You would uh, do anything to avoid talking to me. I think you're, the point that you made yes, that that is Joe Rogan was, yeah, Joe Rogan and, and Dave Rubin and, and, Dave ben Rubin and Jordan Peterson and Noam Chomsky and Sam Harris. Everyone's been avoiding. And not just attempting to get Peter. your audience by jumping in. <laughs> well, I, I debated <laughs> with uh, Charlie Kirk. <laughs> Stephen, I mean, it's okay. about issues. Let's about talk issues, about those yeah. issues. Doing the yeah, anime yeah. laugh, literally smuckling. You know when you get the smuckle that you've won. The smuckle is a sure sign that you have won. If your opponent smuckles, you know that you got under their skin. Some Some here. valid yeah. points. You're so I think clever. I, I had no that. idea that you were taking your show off early last time, coming in today with your pig pen peanuts. I wish every. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you take those off with a velveteen they really button? We yeah. must have been Black very worried eyes, about this, like, Stephen. I don't know why. <laughs> no one would be worried. Oh, they hit his face. Is it because he's crying? Is he literally crying? Is he actually crying? Come on, so Sam. Concerned. Can we see the panic moment again? Yes, we can. Let's watch the, the panic moment again and then them immediately cut to the drunk guy. Look at how nervous this guy is. Oh. This is not the look of a man who is comfortable. Oh, there he is. Oh no, Sam Cedar! What a whoa, What a fucking nightmare! You, I had no idea this was going to happen. Oh. I Hold on a second. Pause it. I gotta point something else out. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hold on just a minute here. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Or is this literally the same person? I think that. I think I'm not incorrect about this, okay? Look, I don't think that I'm incorrect about this. Look, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong? I, I, I'm I, not. No, I think I'm correct. If, if, if Stretch Armstrong had brown hair, 100%. Anything he could to avoid. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh no, Sam Cedar. What a, whoa, what a fucking nightmare. Thank you, I had no idea this was going to happen. Sam I thought, so I thought Ethan was a stand-up. Also, look at this. Just virgin energy versus Chad Sam Cedar energy. Virgin Republican versus Chad uh, Social Democrat? I don't know, whatever. Guy. This is oh, where we wow. are. Yeah, I told Dave, Dave, remember I told you? I told you. I said, Chad, this is, I Sam. guarantee you, he's going to do anything he can to avoid the debate. Well, I just think he believes that he should debate you. No, no, he doesn't. He just takes advantage of, of women with, you know, mental health Steven, issues. Ethan Klein know, doesn't I, stand up oh, and do to his own fighting. I say, right. it's just hilarious. Oh, Let's bring on FM. You would uh, do anything to Thank avoid talking sub, to me. Thank you for the sub, The point that you made yes, is Joe this Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan and Ben Shapiro and, and Dave Rubin and Jordan Peterson and Noam Chomsky and Sam Harris. Everyone's been avoiding yeah, Not just Sam to get your audience. Wait a minute. But... What, about, what about Noam Chomsky? What about what the fuck about Noam Chomsky? I highly doubt Noam Chomsky would dodge a debate with Sam Cedar. What the fuck? Is he just throwing out names? Jumping in. Well, I, I debated with uh, Charlie Kirk. <laughs> Stephen, I mean, it's okay. about issues. Let's about talk issues, about those yeah. issues. I think you're doing some here. valid yeah. points. You're that so I think clever. I, I had no that. idea that you were taking your show off early last time, coming in today with your pig pen peanuts on. I wish ever. <laughs> Wait, by the way, by the way, that does reveal that indeed Sam was correct. We now have confirmation that Sam Cedar, I mean, that Stephen Crowder was monitoring.
was monitoring the show. We now have confirmation. He self-reported. Look at those more shoes. <laughs> you take those off with a velvet really key button. We must have been Black very worried eyes, about this, Stephen. Like I don't know why. No one would be worried oh, come about on. it. So Sam, I didn't want to well, do let's, it. Let's have Sam, a debate. Come on, no just I'll tell you what. I have a general. I have a general. This is a great opportunity. I don't like start a debate me. based with people on a lie. And how or about you get sabotaging? To a, how about you get Stephen? Show yourself, you coward. Stephen, show yourself. Don't show your co-host. Ethan, you should show yourself. Ethan, how could you respect yourself as a man, brother? Something so strong. Steven, you are such a Even the drunk guy is saying that Steven's got to be on camera. What the fuck are they doing? What are they doing? This is such a bad look for Steven. Holy shit, this is the most, this is the worst way that you do this. Howard, stop thing. showing your little leprechaun co host well who comes right, out dressed right. hey, like your sidekick. Come on, Ethan, why do you have to bring him show on the show? Show Steven! Why is this the really saddest thing true. I've ever heard? So you Just have a show with Steven. less viewers to come on to debate him because you can't? <laughs> Well, obviously, if I'm a apparently if, obviously it, I'm a, if I'm a layup yeah, and not a debater. Well, look, yeah. you're the one I mean, who called. You're the one who got angry about it. Show Steven. Don't be such a coward. All right, hold on. Let me let me let me hear what let me hear what Pig Ten has to say here really quick. Fair enough. Show Steven. I'm sorry. What does he call him? What does he call him? Pig Pen. Yeah, Steven, started the one that got angry about Show it. Show Steven. Don't be such a, a coward. Right, hold on a let me let me right, let me hear what let me hear what Pig Ten has to say here really quick. Fair enough. Um, Show but Steven. Ethan, Ethan, look, I, I don't hold on a second, Ethan. This is Is like, that a Peanuts reference? Oh my God, that was a peanut. Oh no, a pe a pe That's what he was referring to before when he said peanuts. He when he said peanuts randomly, I thought he said penis. But he said peanuts. Oh no, that is so embarrassing. Oh, that is so cringe. I'm here to talk with Ethan. I thought he said penis ass. I thought he said penis. Come on, man. Look, the same reason that I haven't ever had a conversation with Sam Cedars, the same reason that uh, Joe Rogan, uh, oh, Sam- Oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. Okay. I have to explain for the Zoomers in chat. Zoomers in chat who don't have any clue what anyone's talking about, let me show you what who Pigpen is. Okay? It, it's it's from... Uh... Okay, there was this comic. You know Charlie Brown? Have you ever heard of Charlie Brown? Okay, I will watch it. I will watch it, Mexican Wild Dog. I'll put this on the list and I'll watch it. I promise, okay? Listen, I promise. All right? Hold on. We'll watch this at the end. If I remember, I think I already watched that one though. Let me show you who Pigpen is, okay? This is Pigpen. Hold on. This is Pigpen. Okay, so there was this thing, there was this show called uh, Peanuts, which starred a character named Charlie Brown, and one of Charlie Brown's friends was this dirty little boy named Pigpen. He's covered in dirt, and he was, the joke was that, I don't, I don't know, that he's like poor or something? I don't know. Some people, most millennials know of it because your grandparents would have had it around. Pigpen was awesome. He was a really good guy. Yeah, he had a dust cloud around him. There's a bunch of it. There's like tons of art of him, okay? Like, there's tons. Look, look. So many Pigpen. But now you understand. Steven Crowder was making a boomer, boomer, boomer reference. Yeah, it was a comic strip. Did I say it was a show? Yeah, it was a comic strip first. Sorry, I should say. Yeah, a little bit of classism, but... But, hey, Pigpen was a good character. Anyway, let's continue. Harris, Brett Weinstein, Snoopy. Dave Rubin, Ben Shapiro don't own anything. It's based on a lie, Ethan. Just What's like you lie? claiming my Ethan. What's the lie? You claiming What's my the booker lie, reached Steven? out to you, Ethan, scolding. when you know that's What's not the true. Scold There's no scolding. Sam, I'm so never afraid. Sam, afraid. Sam, Yo, listen, Sam, Sam, I think Sam, you're Sam. a smart guy. I can call out Mike I don't Tyson. Why it doesn't mean that I'm done. Thank you very much, Ham Monkey. Sam, why do you feel that anyone owes you airtime when you have a 40th of the You know what? You know what? The last the last debate of this tier that we watched was Mike versus Vosh. Should we do the gifts? No, the computer will die if I do the gifts. I can't do the gifts. I can't. Okay, I can do one gif. All right, I'll do one gif. All right, I'm going to add one gif. Okay. Here we go. All right, I got the gift for us, okay? Listen, I got the gift. Hold on. Give me a second. I'll prep the gift. Give me a second here. I'll prep the gift. Hold on. I know how to do this. I know how to do this for sure. Yes. No, wait. How do I do this? Yes, here we go. I know how to do this. 
Look, I'm a, I'm a professional, professional streamer. I will get the gifts up. For those of you who don't know, go watch my coverage of the Mike versus Vosh, the Mike from PA versus Vosh debate. If you want to see the funniest thing ever, I was taking um, submissions. Donos would earn gifts, which I would put on the screen. And today we are going to replicate a small version of that by doing this. Let me, come on, everybody, just watch. It's going to be great. Here we go. All right, ready? Are you prepared? Look, we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of the old of the old day fun, the the old world charm that we've come to love. Okay, here we go. Ready? Look at that. We got the old world charm that we we've learned to love. Look at that. We got a dancing pig pen. How perfect. Now nobody will be able to mistake who uh who Stephen Crowder was talking to. Audience, and you've been doing. I show don't think anybody owes me airtime. I think I think that Ethan What's has just gift? given it to me. I didn't right. ask him for it, and right. so no, you've been begging the real for it for a long time is, with everyone Stephen, bigger than yourself. You so yeah, he found about you can't build an audience, and so what why happens is he uploads so fifteen times more, do you think has your less than a fiftieth of the audience. Well, that's why he wants to debate you, so he can build his. Sam, do you Sam, think come on, your where's... audience cares yeah, yeah. that I only have a million subscribers and you have what six or seven million subscribers? Let me answer. Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Sure. You want me to answer your question? My audience would say Sam who? Just like Joe Rogan's audience and Ben well, Shapiro's and Dave know Rubin. Who I am. And now they you all know who you are because you had to shoot on yourself. Why you do another power show? show. Do this is chaos. Every day Absolute that you do chaos. that, why uh, change my hold mind? Hold on a second. Hold they on a second. They don't know who those college students are. This is another lie. This is another lie. Let me let me clarify, Sam. Let me clarify, Sam. The change my mind. Everyone knows on the show, right? We've had professors on the show. How did you know I ended my show early last week, Stephen? If your audience doesn't even know me, because you're an idiot. And half you of not? your staff doesn't you like my you. Show? Oh my god, he called him out! He called him out and just called him an idiot! You're because you're dumb! You're dumb! Oh my god, I love this. This is the chaos that I'm here for. Oh, I love the chaos. Oh my god, I live for it. I am a being of chaos, okay? That's something you should understand. As a demon, the chaos is my domain, and I love it. I'm so here for it. Holy shit. This is beautiful. Because I'm a diehard fan. Yes, it's because I he's a diehard fan. Well, if you're yeah, a diehard fan, heard of you, fan, but I just, just hear you. Why not? Congratulations, have me Sam Cedars fan. Stephen, have a, a conversation. Huge fan. I, like, I will talk right about now, every time I try and talk, you're interrupting, talk about, Sam. Steve. Yeah, right, right now, I'm trying anything. to talk with you. You're interrupting, you bombarded Sam. The show okay, you, bombarded, you bombarded my show under a false back. pretense. You claim that ever, just like you claimed that I ducked bombarded. the debate with you under a false pretense. Have I uh, ever? That is what the Politicon people told me. Oh, that what they the told you? Well, so you're just lazy yeah. with your research? And if no, big tech is... You continue with the lie. You need to research to say, did Steven ever accept... Wait, wait, wait. I gotta pause it for just a second here to say Steven Crowder calling anyone lazy in his research is a literal joke. Just so you know, just so that you all motherfucking know, that one of the first videos I ever posted on my channel, one of the first videos I literally ever posted on my channel was me busting Steven Crowder at literally using the, the headline of of article, I'm not kidding you. He said that Donald Trump ordered a nationwide lockdown when what he was, and he said Washington, assuming that it meant Washington DC because that fit his narrative, when what it meant was the state of Washington and Donald Trump wouldn't order a nationwide lockdown for three months. So Steven Crowder literally didn't even read the article to find out that it was Washington state and not Washington DC. Also, ham monkey with the 200 bits, saying i'm ex so, so excited to be your little empty mama you're my little imp there you go a little pet for you thank you very much for the bits deeply appreciate it i'm very happy to have you as an imp they said you were let me booked. let me explain to you let me explain they to you let me explain to hey, hey and whoa, then you whoa, whoa, whoa. Sam, out and you literally sam 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 sam, sam sweetheart spirit. sam fake stand-up comic who we can't find any footage about online let I'm me not finish stand-up comic oh you're not okay that makes sense because <laughs> everything he didn't do his research he didn't do his research Sam is not a stand-up guy. Sam has done voice acting. He's a voice acting comedian. He's an actor. Sam Cedar was on Sex in the City. You want to know what Steven Crowder has done with his career? He was Brain on Arthur. Yeah, that old show, show Brain. Yeah, that's right. Look at this. You want to know who he was? Here you go. 
Alan Powers. Brain. That's right. Let's take a look. This. This is the entirety of Steven Crowder's career right here. And then he tried to be a comedian and he failed. And then he got a bunch of money from a, a bunch of rich oil barons and the Koch brothers and made a shitty show where he makes crappy ass jokes all the time. That I've seen is incredibly unfunny and unentertaining, well, which may I'm explain the audience. Irony, irony alert, Stephen. Comedian. How much have you Comedian. watched of my stuff, Stephen? That you Sam, that your can I answer your question? Appreciate our, Sam, our, our discussing Sam, things. Sam, Samuel, can I answer your question? Yes. So you have gone on. You've done the same thing with other other comments. Everyone has a bigger audience than you, because you said I want to speak with Stephen Crowder. You believe that at some point there was some acceptance. When have I ever done a, a, a Politicon? Ever. I what don't I, know. As a matter of fact, I in the last decade, like in the last decade, mine, in the I... last decade, I haven't done a single political conference. How I hosted CPAC say... for four years and stopped because they suck. How they don't pay say... and they're full of losers. What about cope, even... cope. Oh, CPAC is losers. That's why I stopped. It, it wasn't because nobody clapped. It wasn't because the tears were soaking all of my clothing. This is raw cope. You are witnessing the rawest cope we've ever seen. The humiliation of a deserving clown. This is what we call ethically sourced drama. My lovely imps. This is the ethically sourced drama of which we dream. I'm clamoring show, for it, and Gavin it's a lie. told me that you dropped out of doing how his can show you because say that this you, is I just here saying go gossip. But how can I I've never met more of a woman career when he wants to keep debating. I don't, debating. To, I don't, I don't know. Talk about this. Then. All right. Let's talk okay. about the issue. So, the Ethan, do you want to have a conversation, Ethan, Let's about the vaccine? Because Ethan, do you want to have a conversation? You're going to hide. Absolutely. Absolutely. So why are you hiding behind San Cedar? San oh, no, Cedar. no, 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 me and Sam are aligned. I'm not hiding. Him. He just, well, you're just no, a liar. Oh, so you're Ethan, a liar. Remember we said, hold on a second, hold on a second. I mean, it yeah. sort of yeah. feels yeah. like it's you ridiculous. guys are the ones who are hiding. Really? Hi really? No, 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 this is actually, who's snuck in on you? <laughs> who's the He's guy? literally crying. He's the, the smuckle. I told you, the smuckle. Watch Absolutely the smuckle. Really about Big tech. Chat, observe the smuckle and witness what victory looks like in a single gesture. One of the most important things about online debate is being able to read your opponent and know when they're shook. And this right here is when somebody is shook. Watch. Watch it happen. So why are you hiding behind San Cedar? San oh, no, Cedar. no, 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 me and Sam are aligned. I'm not hiding. Him. He just, well, you're just no, a liar. Oh, so you're a liar. Remember we said, hold on a second, hold on a second. I mean, it yeah. sort of yeah, feels yeah. like it's you ridiculous. guys are the ones who are hiding. Really? Hi no, 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 this is actually, who's snuck in on you? <laughs> who's the guy who it's never appears on stage, never does a live show, but it's never a even sheds, never even allows a shadow of comedy to be perceived on his program. It's just hiding. Everything we do is out in the open. H3. H3, Steven, you know you're wearing a whole We agreed. So what? Hold on a second. Yeah. So, yeah. I want to normalize uh, responsible gun ownership. Is that your debate? No wonder you had to bring in a hack for you. you. Well, no, you're talking right about comedy. Well, that's I mean, you know, strategy. That's right? not very funny. You're a holster, bro. Also, you are you're sponsor, a holster, sir. Sponsor. Sponsor. And he takes advantage you, you, of you, mentally you, ill women for a show. Sponsors about gay. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What was that? Can we try and catch some of the words that are being said here? What? What? He takes you, advantage you, of you, you, mentally you, you, ill you, women for a show with her just about women. Women. Boy, right. Right. Takes advantage of what? What is that? What? What is he talking about? He's talking about Trisha and frenemies? Trisha? Who's Trisha? This is a piece of lore I don't know. Trisha Frenemies? Trisha Paytas? This is a lore that I do not know. Who is Trisha pa Paytas? Okay. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay, this will be something I have to look into. Okay, we won't do this now, but I'll look into this in the future. I'll trust you and we'll look into it in the future.
Okay. All of it. All right, Sam. You you, you got it. You got it. I hope you have no, a, uh, I hope you have a wonderful it's highlight happy. reel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me just make one point. Hope you enjoy Politicon. Hold on, let me make one point, Steven. Take it easy. Steven, right, don't bail. Guys. Don't, I appreciate don't it. bail, you uh, coward. Uh, hey, Sam, one thing before I go. One thing before I go. Can you take off your glasses? Steven? Hold on. One thing before I go. Can you take off your glasses? We just want to see. I just want to see if you take them off, if you have if you have the Velveteen Rabbit buttons. That's the oh, only thing I'm curious about. It's the I, only interesting part about Steven, or if there's a soul. I, let's just take debate. Off the, take off the glasses. Let's debate, uh, Stephen. Don't hide behind the glasses. Don't, 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 don't say let's will. debate, Ethan. You've lost. Vermin Hand says, I'm kind of obsessed with Trisha, okay? I know she's a lol cow, but the toilet paper ass crack picks were legendary. I'm sorry, what? I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? 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 Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Coward. Coward. Debate. All right. Debate this the is issues. Sad. What this does it matter who you debate, coward? <laughs> All right. Good. You guys <laughs> wow. are good. Thank you. Coward. You won't even take off the glasses. Uh, I was right. All right. Yeah. You can, you can run away. This you is... run away <laughs> twice. Cold feet again. He ran. Come on, David. He ran. Wow. <laughs> he left wow. it that. Dude. That's it. Oh, Trisha uses they them? Okay, I didn't know that. I literally don't know who this is, but thank you for letting me know. He ran? I can't believe he admit to following. He admitted that he followed the show <laughs> last week. We got him. He admitted that he watched the show last we week. We got we him. Early. Dude, we played him so hard. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But this right here, hold on a second. Just he watch this. He admitted that he followed the show <laughs> last week. We got him. He admitted that he watched the show last week. This, I would die to see this face, okay? I'm so sorry. This is the happiest I've ever seen Sam in years of watching the majority report. This is a beautiful face. This face right here is unironically beauty contained in a moment. This is what human joy looks like distilled into a droplet. This is why you do comedy. This is why we make jokes. This is why I'm a clown on the internet. Because I get to see faces like this. Let's do it. We got we him. Early. Dude, we played him so hard because oh. he he literally was following. He saw that you went live, dude. We fucking got him. Kawasa. Oh my god. We fucking nailed him. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so do you want to respond to Here, you want to throw him up, Dan? Yeah. Do you want to respond to anything he said now that he's not talking over you? We fucking um, got him. Well, I, I mean, look, uh, he's obviously lying about the idea that he wouldn't want to do uh, do a debate with me because his audience wouldn't know. He already Here's left a guy Berman, who I know. literally tracked my show last week because he was afraid that this would happen. <laughs> He is a, here's a guy who right. uh, claims to have watched, I don't know, I, I don't know what it is he said he watched, but he's not worried about audience not knowing who he's Sam debating never because he sits down with random college kids he does and sandbags them on uh, their campus. He, I have the recording from Politicon when they called and he backed out. I have emails from Gavin McGinnis. We just McGinnis. watched that. We just watched that recording. You all heard it. You all motherfucking heard that. You heard it. We watched it here on Drama Mama. So you know Sam ain't lying. Whose show I would have never gone on, except he offered up a debate with Crowder, and Crowder left. And so, you know, I think Stephen is afraid of debating somebody. You know, look, I do a political show Thank every day. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't. deeply Boring. appreciate it's it. Obvious. And you don't. Yeah, exactly. And and, and, and so afraid. if he wants to debate the issues, what's the difference between me and anybody in the world? I, I mean, only that he is convinced that, uh, for whatever reason, he's nervous about debating me. I don't know why. I don't know why that's the case. But I debated uh, Charlie Kirk at Politicon. True, it was fine. Texas I thought funky. Kirk did a fairly he good job. Dunn I think Stephen's now. not a, a total idiot, but I also do think he's a bit of a liar. I mean, yeah, we even went through the effort of tracking down this claim that he never booked us for the show i mean here's the email super professional so i was like i definitely i reached out to the girl she said um i said did you send me this email captain Gwendolyn says 
What is sandbagging? Sandbagging is when you do a bullshit debate. It's basically when you go on to a, a high school. It doesn't matter. It's any time that you go in and you 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 just dunk on somebody who's not a challenge to you. S Steven Crowder does this show where he uh, called like Change My Mind, where he goes onto college campuses and it's edited. So he just talks to a bunch of college students, then finds the one cringy college student, and bam, that's sandbagging. That's 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 sandbagging. It's smurfing. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, challenging people at a lower skill level. Exactly. Correct. Yeah, Ben Shapiro's entire career. Correct. Yeah. She said, yes, I did. Years ago, for a few months, I worked for Steven Crowder booking. Thank you, Loki I'm not quite War. sure I think who I you look contact now. I'm I know his dad <laughs> does the booking for him. Let me know if Thank you, you need so much. me to try to find you. How would she know that if she didn't work for them? Uh -oh. You know, what's funny is that when the Politicon, uh -oh. um, when the, the woman from Politicon called me, she also mentioned that his dad... Uh, he, Patrol, thank she you said so much his team, for the I think Stephen got cold feet. His team pulled him out. And I said, wait, he's got a team? Hmm. And he said, well, his dad. Right. And, right, right. you know, I mean, I, I, I called my dad to see if he could call Stephen's dad to see if oh, Stephen would. I forgot would, about uh, that. I forgot about when Sam called his own dad. His <laughs> Sam called his own dad and asked his dad to call Stephen Crowder's dad. <laughs> I forgot about that. I completely forgot that happened such a long time ago. Oh my god. Hey, 21 combo. Not bad. <laughs> this is such a gift. We have been gifted this in our in the in the darkest of times, the greatest of comedy arises. And so you have been witness to not just one of the greatest moments in, 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 in internet lefty history, but one of the funniest cold feet moments of all time. God dear. Debate me like on some type of play oh. date, but my father said, reminded me that I was a grown man <laughs> and I should probably handle it myself. Oh, you know, that's funny. My dad is actually Zooming with his dad later today <laughs> to debate these very topics. You know what else he lied about? Uh, filing this lawsuit. He, there's no lawsuit he ever filed, at least that I can find in the public record. Which Mother Mir set with the incredibly generous $5 super chat. I have some hilariously ironic info about Steven. One of the episodes he voiced Brian in, Brian tries to become a comedian and fails terribly at it. Lamau! Thank you, Mother Mirset. That is amazing. Lawsuits are public record. Uh, so he ha he is a liar as far, you know, uh, the evidence does, does suggest. Yeah, and the thing is, is that, you know, they go on and on about getting demonetized from YouTube or whatever it is, and... Uh, they never, so it, for them, it's really just a, a way of generating clicks. There are Oh, yes, uh, the same policies. with the lawsuit. Yeah, I mean, there are policies that you could pursue, but he can't ever address those because his ideology is such that there's no way uh, in, uh, for, for him to address it as a policy matter. Uh, so because as a policy matter, he'd have to agree that there needs to be government regulation of these things. And he doesn't believe in government regulation. And so uh, he just goes out there and makes it as if it's like uh, conservatives are somehow being oppressed. As well, opposed that's not, to it's actually not true at all. Everybody who talks about these issues, if they're taking a conservative or liberal stance on them, are, they're all getting demonetized equally. The fact that oh, yeah. the fact that Stephen wants to go out there and do a mock execution of George Floyd and then act bewildered when his channel gets uh when his videos get demonetized is qu it's quite surprising to me that yeah he would even it is be isn't it feigns true at that. <coughs> true yeah, we get i don't know I don't, I don't know how what our percentage of demonetization yeah, Fon, is for in. our videos it happens we just come don't want your chair it like right. they do and use it to generate clicks the, it's because we're willing on, to Fon, talk about topics that's that right we we're know. adding to the maximalism by inviting fawn in come on in fawn bring your chair get in here I mean, we don't do sh sh shit like what uh, Crowder does that that are just out and out racist and and uh, homophobic. But we will we will talk about protests. We will Fun talk time. about um, you know political situations that advertisers don't want to be a part of. Absolutely, and that's just part of doing El the Spaghetto job responsibly. The is understanding you so you're not going to be able to suck a dollar out of every single uh, bit of content <laughs> yeah, well. if you're actually you know trying to. Uh, you know, make a, a point about issues. Oh, and I'll one other thing afterwards. he keeps Thank bringing up, link. apparently the reason he's ducked you, Sam, is because you only have one million subscribers. Uh -oh. uh, I know. It. And oh, I, I've Shark actually Steven. challenged somebody to go through Cloud all of the Shark interviews he's Steven. done and find any with under a million, because that would be quite ironic. 
Yeah, I find it hard to believe that Steven has that metric, particularly Wait since... Wait a minute. Wait, half hold on a second. His... Let's continue. All of his change my minds are with college students who may not even have a YouTube channel. Right. Oh, really? You have more subs than them, surely. I, at least a yeah, couple I more mean, than I mean, them. Yeah. Well, hmm. I feel we got him pretty good here, Sam. I agree. Sam. Fawn does have a great well, Twitter. Well, you know, I would have liked to have had an exchange of ideas with hey, Steven, so I'm a too. little bit disappointed. I, and I know how much you were looking forward to that, too. Are you too. here to uh, enjoy the Sam Cedar? How am I going to show you the Sam Cedar? You're not going to be able to hear anything. You're just going to have to hear my crazy reactions. Come here. Give me some much. Nah. I love you. Thanks for coming in. I hope you enjoy my screaming and laughing. Yeah. All right. Let's continue. Uh, you know, we had, uh, but yeah, I guess should, Stephen should, yeah. is just more interested in personalities than he is uh, actually debating issues. Yeah. It's sort of Everyone's sad. Everyone's giving you it is sort of sad. It is sad because he claims he's a political thinker, but he doesn't think he didn't think much in this case. Uh, I got to wonder if there are members of his audience right now Vaughn who are probably thinking like, hey, wait a second. Floofy. Maybe Stephen is actually afraid of having some type of exchange. I mean, he spent. How many times did he say in the preface of... Vermin of, says, hi, Fawn, I want to hang out with y'all. Yes, we will hang out. We have to work out the food dish. We got to work out the food ammo crate. We'll get that working. We'll get it. We'll get it working. We'll get the process rolling eventually. We all are overcoming our post-pandemic or pseudo-post-pandemic um, social anxiety, I guess going on air with you you know a lot of times people won't show up for debates with me and here we are baby know it's fun. he only wants to debate um you know people who have a perspective on the left that have a, a youtube channel that's over a million well maybe you've got to expand your horizons or may, a maybe bit. you should be looking to debate people who are actually proficient in debating and the topics itself instead of he referred to me as a layup and i would agree with him in that i'm not politically savvy and yes silax all right okay five dollar donos and up I'll put a GIF on the screen. It might blow up my computer, so if it kills the stream, that's your fault. But if you donate $5 with a link to a GIF, I'll put your GIF on the stream, so long as it's not TOS. So long as it's... Oh, you're going to do it? No, I need a graphic. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, $5 and up. We're doing maximalism. We got a whole another 20 minutes in this damn debate, so let's do it. I'm not a debater. So what So what? What actual... Uh value is there in debating me for him other me than too, for Laura. him to look smart and get an easy point exactly you have, an, but, you have but topical me, art send me the topical art mixed dizzy if it's topical art send it to me say this that the original points that you were making about when it came to like the masks um i uh i've interviewed i don't know uh, half a dozen <clears throat> different epidemiologists, maybe a little bit more over the past year uh, on the show, uh, some of the top epidemiologists in the country. And the fact of the matter is, is that there we'll was uh, confusion and really not uh, the science was not settled of on the course. way that COVID was, was transferred. They, they didn't realize that it could it's be so good, But the Thank bottom so line is, is that wearing up. masks, once they understood this. All right, we got a new GIF. All right, it's time for another GIF. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. We got, we're, we're starting the GIF train. You name it, you give me a GIF, I'll put it up on the screen. We'll make it happen. We're doing maximalism stream. It's been a while since we've done a maximalism stream. The last time this happened, I was drinking while watching the ridiculous Sam Cedar debate. Okay, well, this is an interesting one, but all right. I will put it on the desktop and then we'll make it happen. Let's, uh, wait, why did this send as an as a web P? Why, how do I not save it as a web P? Why is it a web P? How the fuck do you do that? Do I just open the image in the new tab? There we go. That'll do it. Why is it saving as a web P? I hate web P's. Tiger.webp. I think I can do... All right, everybody. Hold on, hold on. All right. This is going to be a process. Okay? Look. Shut the fuck up. You wanted maximalism? You're getting maximalism. I'm giving the imps what they so desire. Here we go. We're going to put tiger in. Let's grab the tiger. Uh. <clears throat> Tiger.webp. Here we go. Let's bring it on. Where is it? Uh-oh. I don't think tiger's working. Tiger ain't working. I'm sorry. That's a webp. I need a gif. I need a GIF. 
We got another we got another gif. Okay, fine, fine. Oh my god, I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, all right everybody, we're pausing it for long enough to download all download and uh, and add all the gifts. Jesus Christ. You all love gifts, don't you? You fucking love this shit. All right, fine. We're going to do it. We're going to do it then. Thank you all for the for the donos. I'm going to add your gifts right now. This is disturbing. Why am I getting so many disturbing troubling gifts? These are troubling. Why are you sending me cursed things? This is so cursed. Uh-oh, this one's gone down. This one is dead. This link is broken. Fire dent? Oh, okay, all right. This is this uh this one broke, but let's try it again. Apparently, we have to go directly to the link. Oh yeah! Okay, this one's great. This one's not cursed. This one's actually excellent. We're going to put this one as Okay, here we go. All right, let's, let's... Ah, fuck, I fucked that up. Shut up, everyone. You wanted gifts. You have to deal with the jank that comes with gifts. This is how it goes. Here we go. Have fun. I'm going to blow up the stream, and there is almost no doubt that my computer is going to crash from this. We got Jekyll, Jekyll, Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde, Hyde, Jekyll. Jekyll, Jekyll, Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde. Life is not. Life is very awesome when you do a library card. I don't know. Fuck you. Can I get the gif of the tie of the of the other one? What's this one? This is not tiger. This is troll. All right. This one's gonna be called troll. I'm gonna rename that real quick. We got this one. We're gonna put the cringe. It's a cringe troll face. Here we go. I'm gonna put this one as here, and we're we're gonna rename this. Look. Are you enjoying this so far? Hello. Oh, what's this? Thank you. Snoo- Oh, ho -ho! very well then. I'll get you that. I have an IRL dono <laughs> that was written on. Let me prove it to you. Silent has delivered an IRL dono with Snoop Dogg dancing. Please. Well, very well then. I will deliver this with the IRL dono. Oh my God. I'm getting blown up. I can't. Oh no. What have you done? Here's this one. Oh no. I'm getting overwhelmed. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. There's, I'm gonna, the, I see that the, the computer is going to crash before, sooner rather than later. This is going to, this is going to blow up the computer. There's absolutely no way my computer is going to survive this. Okay. So we got the Godzilla and now we got the tiger oh my god why would you ma who made this cursed gif oh my god i'm never gonna be able to keep up hold on i'm trying to keep up okay we got we got gamer girl thank you very much here we go oh here we go okay this is great <laughs> i love this dog dog okay now i gotta get snoop dog hold on Okay, I know I can get this one. We're gonna get these all. We're gonna get them all. I know I'm gonna deliver the good shit. You know I always deliver the good shit. I know we're not watching the content right now, but this in and of itself is content. This is why you watch me. You watch me because I deliver the meta content. The meta content for all of you content poisoned motherfuckers out there in the world. <laughs> What's this one? Oh no! There's no way the computer's not going to blow up right now. Hold on a second. Okay, 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 okay. This is a very strange one. Okay. Okay, I think we've reached... I think I've gotten all of them. I think I've gotten all of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me add all of these. Okay, let's get Snoop on there for the IRL dono of $5. Snoop. All right, we got Snoop. Uh, Did I get more? Is there more coming? Yes. Oh, God. $20. What? $20? Oh, no! Oh, no, I can't keep up! I'm trying. I'm trying, Chad. I'm trying. I'm going as fast as I fucking can. This is so difficult. Oh, what's the next one? Cactus? Oh, God. 
I can't even remember all the gifts I've been sent so far. What are you doing to me? Here's the cactus. I don't even know how people are going to be able to tell what this is, but all right, we're going to give it a try. Okay, we got the cactus. Incoming stream crash. Uh, dog. Here we go. Uh, where's the sad dog? We're going to put Godzilla next. Okay, just remember, Godzilla next. <sighs> Maximalism streaming is where it's at. Godzilla. Okay. I'm going as fast as I can, chat. I'm moving as fast as I can. Don't abandon me yet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got Godzilla in there. We had some wild shit last time. God, it's been a while since we did a maximalism stream, hasn't it? Uh, What's the next one? Tiger. We got to get the crazy tiger shit on here. And then I got to check all these new ones that have just come in. All right. Oh my God, it's huge. I gotta make that one smaller or else it's gonna make everyone go insane. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you all are torturing me. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, the MP4 is gonna kill me. Okay, you can't post the entire page of Ben Shapiro gifts. All right, I'm going to do this one then. Here we go. Here we go. Open link in new tab. Wait, how do I download? Uh, oh, no. How do I even get this one? I don't know how to download this shit. Save image as. Okay, here we go. Shapiro. Okay, hold on. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying, chat. I'm working as fast as I fucking can. Here we go, we got the Shapiro, okay? Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. Here we go. <clears throat> oh my God. Maximalism stream part two. True! Let's get this one on here and then we'll do the next one. Blue breasted booby? I can't do that one, that's an MP4. I can't do the MP4. If you get me a gift version, I'll do that one. But I can't do this one. I can't do the, I can't do the MP4 one. It'll blow up. It blew up. Kermit. Ker That's not how you spell Kermit. Oh my god. I'm trying. I'm trying. You people are... You people are wild. What fresh hell is this? Welcome. Welcome. Full satisfaction, ham monkey? Of course. This is the insanity stream. Welcome. I am as insane as you, and you are as insane as me. I'm very sorry. I apologize for the horrible things I've done to you. But you're here and having fun anyway. So it's consensual or something. F f whatever. Fuck you. Uh, what was I saying? What was the Kermit? Let's do a Kerm. Let's get the Kermit in here. Where the hell did the Kermit go? Why is the Kermit not showing up? Where the fuck's the Kermit? Ah! Where's the Kermit? <clears throat> why do they make... Why does why does this website make these so hard to download? This is a WebP again. The fuck? Save image as. There we go. So it has like a delay on it. Kermit. Here we go. I'm going to Kermit suicide. <laughs> Where'd the Kermit go? There we go. Is that going to work? Where's the Kermit? The Kermit isn't working for some reason. Why? Why isn't the Kermit working? That's very strange. Let's try that again. I'm trying to get the Kermit working. Let's try it one more time. I'm trying to get the Kermit working, but I don't know why the Kermit's not working. Okay, everybody. The Kermit is not working. The Kermit is broken. I, I, I assure you, the Kermit is broken. The Kermit is broken. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Cobalt Swift Pie. I appreciate it. Let's do it. Give me a Kermit gif. Give me a Kermit freaking out gif. We have a dancing sexy Eevee. That's a little bit... Well, okay. I'm here for it. Eevee! Of course, that's the one I get. It's, it's not... 
Uh, sorry, that that EV has uh, banger hips. Uh, okay, sorry, yeah, just it's right. just the truth. I'm sorry. Right. You don't like it? Deal with it. Uh, <laughs> shut up. It's sexy. It's sexy EV. Fuck you. Let's do the EV next. We gotta finish this at some point, you know. You know that we have to actually finish the debate at some point, right? Okay. So here's EV. We don't have any long emotes yet. We haven't gotten any long emotes. Okay, hold on a second, everybody. Holy shit, this is so wild. It's okay, don't worry. Aren't you glad I bought a new PC? Yes, although right now... Oh my god, what's this one? True! Okay, I'll get this one. Okay, I'll get this one. I'm gonna get this one, and then that will eat, that will fulfill the promise. I must grab this one. Da, 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 da. Chad. Chad.gif. I'm getting fast at this. I'm getting fast at, at speedrunning, destroying my OBS. Loud Mama destroys OBS in real time. You sent me a Kermit? Okay, I'll fix the Kermit. Where did you send it to me? On Discord? Uh huh. Oh my god, you had to send it on Discord, didn't you? Oh my god, I'm getting so many messages. How am I gonna- Oh no! Discord's exploding! We're reaching maximum limit! We're reaching the maximum level! Oh shit! Kerm 2, that's what we'll call it. Now I'll grab one of these unused Kermits. Oh wait, shit, I deleted the unused Kermits. All right, everybody. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we're reaching critical mass. I don't know that I can add any further. Okay? We're calling it here. We have so many. It's outrageous. We can't do any more. The computer will literally blow up if I try to do more. Oh, boy. Okay, so I got to do this one. This is another one for Humphead. And then I'll grab all the ones that are in so far. I'll grab all the ones that are in so far, okay? And then we have to stop. The time to stop or my computer will explode. My computer is already exploding. All right, we'll get five. What it tastes like to five gum. What it tastes like to, to fuck five gum. Uh, this one is a seal. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, indeed. You all are, are some strange motherfuckers, but I do enjoy you very much. Five is what this one's going to be called. Holy shit, the things I do for love. That's 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 the story of the, of today. Where's five? Here's the five. Oh, the five has a tri transparency. Super elite. That's super good. Uh, six. This one's going to be called six because it has the number six in it. But it's actually called seal.gif. Here we go. He was forced to eat cement when he was six. Okay, this one's going to cover part of chat. Fuck you. Deal with it. All right. <clears throat> the cactus GF? GIF? Do you have space for a cute dancing GIF? Not right now. Okay, everybody. Let's continue. It's time to return to our duty. The duty to, to complete react. the content. What's that? Back to react. We got to get back to reacting. You all have been sending me so much. I can't add more shoe right now. We have to continue. Can you do a donation goal to upgrade the PC? I already have upgraded the PC, but thank you. Uh, the problem is that I have a small mistake. Let's continue. Where the downside to wearing masks is nil. zero. Well, yeah, and... according to Steven, scientists are not ever allowed to Look change at this their shit. mind. See, uh, scientists need it. to be right the first time and only the first time. They're not allowed to change their stance with data <laughs> and research. Here. And if they do, then they're frauds forever. Excuse me, did you say you can't see him? You can. You can see him right here. Look, there. His eye is, his eyes are peering out from behind the, the ti screaming tiger gif. You can right see then. enough. I mean, I even saw Stephen talking about, oh, uh, Fauci was wrong about AIDS Ethan back hiding? in, you know, the, what was hiding it, the, uh, Ethan? the early 80s and that's proof right he is he, fauci was wrong sometime previously in his career uh so therefore he is a fraud forever 
I, speaking of fraud, I noticed that uh, that uh, Crowder put up a, an email, you know, making a big deal about these emails from Fauci. And one of them yes, he put yes. up was from February 12th, where Fauci was saying, we don't think masks for the general public is going to be that effective or make a point. Which is and what he said is, publicly. Which is what he said publicly yeah. a month later. Oh, thank you, Red But Con. the fact is, is that... The, the development of the science behind aerosol, aerosolization of the virus was an ongoing effort. It wasn't until like, you know, uh, late April right. that they started to realize this is the way it's going through there. And then they don't, it's not easy to, to take a novel new coronavirus and assess like what are the size of the particles? Right. But the bottom line is once they said do masks, it is an easy lift to wear God a mask. Damn it, it Sam. sucks, Stop but this it was the safest shit. thing to do, and I'm sitting here what with it. What is with... this relevant politics nerd shit, Sam? Get back to making fun of Steven Crowder. What are you doing? The study, I mean, they're really starting to come out now, um, that the masks cut down by anywhere from 25 to 35 percent mm. on the transmission. Mm. And so... The idea that there are some scientists, he talks about aggregating the science. Look, he doesn't know Trump how to aggregate. He's afraid Sam to debate me. I and agree. I, you know, a guy though. with a million subscribers on You're YouTube. Late to the party on that he is one. not aggregating the science. There are professionals Good who night, aggregate the science. Thank you. Sam, and do you think that the size of your sub count is a, is a, is there a correlation to, to your, uh, your skills as a debater? That seems to be what Crowder's understanding is. I, apparently, yeah. uh, or it's just that he he is looking for any excuse he as just, to why he doesn't want to have a conversation with somebody who actually, true, you know, day in, in day here. out, reads this stuff oh, and talks so much, to uh, uh, scientists and talks to reporters. I mean, look, you can find a lot of people who will say the earth is flat. And if I aggregate those into all the scientists who say the earth is, in fact, not flat, then you could say there's some questions. But but that's not the way that science works. The fact of the matter is, is that like w exactly, we have a Sam, basic correct. understanding of what, what what's going See, on, and um, the idea as, as a responsible political react streamer, I am here to tell you that. Mm -hmm, yep, I know some of those words. Yep. Of you saying, listen to the scientists, particularly addressing YouTube guys. Well, right? like, yeah, when you're Steven that's Crowder, a good idea. When, thank you. Yeah, so obviously our whole little battle came when Steven, Steven said it's his favorite clip of the year of us saying, listen, if you're like, uh, you know, listen, you, it's okay to listen to, to scientists who are trying to save. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to question every single there, thing that comes across you, especially properly. if you have no qualifications at all to assess this information. The fact that we need to be skeptical of every single thing of our government. Well, 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 Ethan. You know, it's really interesting that you're talking about skepticism in a time like this. But in truth, I wonder how much of a skeptic are you if you were willing to deceive our dear friend Steven Crowder who had the willingness to bring two guns to this fight, Ethan. It's very strange. You know, Mother Miranda isn't going to like that very much. We don't trust our government to, to that extent. Then, then our society has failed us in, in, in a way well, that actually, we should just fungus. end Thanks it for now. Coming by. But I, you know, I think like Indeed, you can be skeptical, Darwin. but the fact of the matter is, is that what Crowder is not doing, he's not being skeptical in any type of thoughtful way. He is weaponizing hmm. doubts that happen to align with his political ideology. We saw it with the president that he was so supportive of. I mean, uh, you know, you can. It's not hard to find many clips of Trump saying this is just going to go away. It's mm -hmm. not really serious. There's only a couple yeah. of cases. We shouldn't even test. Right. And. Crowder, that's why Crowder was doing it. I mean, if it was... Well, you know, Ethan, I was wondering if you'd really done the thinking necessary to determine whether mask wearing is effective. You see, I've got a theory that the virus particles can pass through the mask like a bunch of tiny sperms passing through the tissues on your desk. I mean, on my desk. Because you're Ethan... And I'm Steven Heisenberg. If he was doing a genuinely skeptical, you know, sort of like uh, categorization and cataloging night, of Coffee. the science, 
and laying it out there in a way that showed some measure of integrity. But let's, let's be honest. I mean, people just watch this. Crowder had the opportunity to debate this with somebody who is, who is serious about it and wanted to debate with him. I did nothing but, you know, approach this with, with a respectful manner. And he was afraid to do that. Oh, you think that sounded like Patrick Bateman? I don't think you know what Patrick Bateman sounds like, Ethan. You know, I've been known to talk about wiping my ass and how I don't like doing it and how Mother Miranda gets real mad when I don't wipe my ass. But I've made an army of hypno-kink drone zombies to do it for me. And what have you done, Ethan? What have you done? Run some shitty little podcast? Is that what you've done, Ethan? Because he knows he's full of it. So and he's much just delivering so. talking points that, you know, uh, his NRA buddies, you know, give him to well, go. Yeah, they they all it's all it's all part of the big grift that all these conservative media. I think this is what we call a podcaster moment, Ethan. You ever heard of that? You know, the joke is that podcasters like to molest children. And you're a podcaster. You get it? Do you do you get it, Ethan? It's like you said, it's like uh, they suck every dollar out of every controversy and that's all that matters to him because, you know, he's got these big, beautiful leather holsters and those things don't fill themselves, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, you know, it, it is worth mentioning once again that he noticed that you ended your show early last week. And, That's right. I, and we, we specifically were like, I know he's watching because he's so afraid of Sam that we need to <laughs> pre-record something, this is such a air God it, juke. so that he thinks you're live Right, right now, worked. as we are talking, You're there live. is a live show yeah, that's and on, and he came he on, we started the show two so minutes early, because... and he did not walk on to the set until our show was live. You know what it is? At people walking in who don't understand, the gifts are going to be like this. What's his name? Uh, what's his name? David, what's his name? David Lynch. There we go. This is everybody coming into the into the fucking stream right now. It's like this. It's the it's the moment that's right here. This this is the moment of everyone watching it walking into the stream right now. Believe it or not, uh, this meg this this uh, maximalism stream is my most spiritual film. Elaborate on that. No, this is me right now. This is me right now. Elaborate on that. No. So true. And, and you call, I got to say, you called it last week. Thank and you. I was like, I can't, I just don't believe that he's that nervous. Yeah, yep. he was. I can't believe a, he admitted it. it. What a I, I, dumbass to what admit a dumbass. it. And also, like, the <laughs> oh alternative. God. You're right, Blue Blue Pumpkin. You know what I like most about the de debate, says Blue Pumpkin. Sam kept his word and let Stephen have the opening statement. True. Hey, you're right, Alora. We've got a lot of a lot of love tonight. I'm glad I decided to keep going. I really am. The raids were nice. The raids were helpful. Is I you think all, that hey, you all better be screenshotting this because this is a moment to remember. I'm telling you that much. Sam could show up, and I can't wait to show my audience how this moron who's been dogging me supposedly and That's sending right. people That's to, motherfucking right. You know the alpha males are back, back, back. Back, back, back. The alpha mama is back, 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 back. That's right. You know it. Debate me and this and that. I'm going to put this to rest once and for all. If Steven Crowder was as much of a man as he seems to, to be with his, you know, all his weightlifting and yeah. his... His gun and his holster. He's got a he's got a weapon for God's sakes. Yeah. I'm coming unarmed. Hands up. <laughs> if you want to shoot, go ahead. How much shoot. alpha brain do you think he takes in the morning? <laughs> he's probably Just juicing. As delicious as and you can the imagine. idea that he had at least a week in advance knowledge 
that he couldn't come prepared to debate somebody who actually reads this stuff and spends their time doing this is is almost like the saddest thing that now, one I've could heard say that too, about Texture's Stephen Crowley. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. I'm almost. sure there's some other things. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> Stephen. It's really sad. I mean, I was looking forward but, to it and because I really wanted to The irony, it. right, <clears throat> as you've pointed out, is that he's the guy who got famous for de with the debate me. He can't, if you're the debate me guy, that's yeah. your claim to debate, fame. Debate me, debate me. You can't dodge people that want to debate you, Steven. You've got to own this know, thing that you create, this image you created. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a baby. You're just oh! like, come on, Steven. I think he lost the right to the to those holsters. I think he has to retire them. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think I'm maybe calling it's time on for... retiring those holsters today. Uh, normalize <clears throat> wearing a squirt gun instead is what I would say to him. You'd have I to, agree. Or maybe like a, a nerf. <clears throat> they have to have like a nerf weapon. Stop like, I don't, being is he a old bitch enough to now true. like have a, a license for a handgun, or he doesn't need to anymore. Yeah, I mean, I think, honestly... Yeah, we already got like, to the debate. I think we need to have a meeting with his dad. And, yeah, uh, I have his bring email his father now, so I'll be... Yeah, we got to the debate already. Maybe we should email him, just say, you know... It was we great. Think that, that, uh, I don't know if his after, dad will be answering any of my emails yeah. after today. After today, ah! we're going to have to ask for his uh, badge Bet and uh, weapon. Bet we're both fathers. I, I can't tell you how disappointed I would be in my son oh. if he did what Stephen oh, did. Oh, my so God! disappointed. Oh, Sam, you can't pull out that one. You can't pull out the disappointed in my son on a conservative boy. You do realize that that is going to destroy his psyche for the rest of existence. Holy shit, Sam. Too far. Violating the Geneva Convention? On the Monday after Father's Day? Son. <laughs> yeah, I, son. I I I just uh, my son had his final uh, uh, Pony League baseball game yesterday, and I saw more courage from some of those eight-year-olds uh, oh, than no, we witnessed Sam, from Stephen no. Crowder today. I mean, it's I would cruel. say probably like, like a good three or four of them were a lot tougher than Crowder. One yeah. guy hit the ball, the other one like uh, tripped. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's one of them didn't have their favorite hat, but they all played through it. Right. They all played through Inspiring. it. Inspiring. Sad that that, that did you, Steven. Did you find it interesting too how he wouldn't put the camera on him for a minute? It was just on his side. <laughs> he, he was crying. He was panicking. Yeah. What do you think was going on? Do you think he was like like going like, dad, dad? Yeah, get yeah, dad yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah. Dad daddy, in here. daddy. Yeah. Get dad, dad in here now. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> but I'm glad he finally brought it back because I was like, what is with the sidekick? Why are you throwing him under the bus? <laughs> I know it. And the sidekick had to pretend like he was a big fan of mine. And he had that's to come in real quick. Yeah. Monitoring the show. That is. His wow. sidekick wasn't even drunk yet. It is early. Usually that guy's pissed drunk by uh, <laughs> the time they do this show. I told that... you. I fucking told you. I, I could see it a million miles away. I, I, you know, to be honest, like I have the only time I think I've eyes, watched chat. a uh, Imps, an extended run of the show was when he was talking about you. I was trying to figure out like how well, how did this start, and he was really drippily condescending for a guy who is afraid oh, to yeah. actually test his 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 beliefs. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm surprised. I haven't seen him so weak since watching him get punched in the face and dropping like a deck, like a house of cards By an old in man, uh, Wisconsin. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. I don't know if you knew this. So Crowder, when he was complaining about what happened on YouTube to him, you know, like he I've put like out a compilation video my lungs, but it's okay. of people responding to when he got decked by a union guy in oh, Wisconsin. That video? Priceless. The by the way, the video of, of uh, the video of Steven Crowder getting clunked in the head by a union guy. So good. So beautiful. Amazing. The uh, 2011 uh, March protests against Scott Walker. And in that compilation, I was in it and put the video out. And then he pulled it back and cut me out of the compilation and reposted it on Twitter. Do we have that stuff? Oh, wow. He, you are, he is deathly afraid of you. It is. Uh, uh, we, somebody on Twitter saw it and sent it in. We did a video about it. But he, it, is, it is weird. He is deathly afraid. And how he pretends 
that's the thing I don't get. Like, how do you spend so much time worrying about somebody that you think is not big enough to even like well, who discuss? Is he, who is he supposed to debate then, if not I, you? I don't know. Yeah, me. I'm not a political debater. I'm just some dumbass. True. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I maybe he's trolling through to find like you know like uh, makeup uh, tutorial uh, man, sites though. that have like two million Bloggers, uh, subscribers, yeah. or I mean, uh, anybody who doesn't Minecrafters know. Minecrafters have a lot of subs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's some Minecrafters my son watches that um, that I need uh, more gifts. That, that, well, that guess maybe what? A unique offer. To Lance of the Surf's TV, you can have a free GIF without the $5 dono limit. You send me a link to a GIF, and I'll add it just for you as a, because you're a special guest. A, 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 a VIP in the Demon Mama chat. Yeah, you, you bring me it, I'll put it up. As long as it's not TOS. I'd like to debate on, on some of these <laughs> right, issues. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Wow. All right. Well, we got him, dude. Today was a good yeah, day. Yeah, that was Today fun. was a beautiful day. Today was a day where we got to witness unadulterated human joy in the form of Sam Cedar's victorious smile. What a what you have witnessed today is one of those human experiences that makes life work, worth living. You know, like like witnessing a natural wonder, witnessing the unadulterated smile of Sam Cedar, a a man who has covered politics for the last 20 years of his life and also lives in New York City. You got to witness true joy from the face of that poor jaded man. That poor jaded New York Jew, you witnessed the smile beaming from his face. And that is a, a priceless memory that you all got to share today. Just saying. I think he's actually from Boston, but whatever. Yes, Lance is indeed amazing. I agree. I agree. Did I get a get a, did I get a gif yet? We'll get a gif. Let's continue. Appreciate your you're attempting to, oh, to fool. Let's see. You want this one up? Oh shit! You're getting this one. You know you're getting this one, Lance. We're gonna put this one up as a mark of victory. Lance, you have chosen the correct image. This is, good. This is truly the the correct image. Yeah, he's from Worcester, yeah. But he lives in New York now, so. Glass jaw crowder. Glass jaw, yeah, fucking. <laughs> Here we go. Weak. Get ready. This is going to be the one that's this is going to be the most prominent image. Glass jaw <laughs> is what it's called. You know it. You know it. You know it's going up. Look at that. We're going to put this one right over the one spot. Look, it's got to cover some of the other ones because look at how good that is. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so very much. Am I from Mass? Well, who knows? Further to discourse. I'm from New England, I mean, that's and that's all I care about. At the end yeah, of the day, I, I just wanted to put forward the best conversation possible to inform the most people possible. But Stephen today yep. wasn't able to do that for us. I know. It's so sad. It's a uh, disappointment. You, you gave him the opportunity. And, and I hope his he... dad does have a stern talking to, like, son, this is the way to behave. This, is the, this was not the proper way to behave in this situation. And gives him a I good mean, fatherly talk. There's been times where I've said yes, to my Lance, son... Yes, that is my partner, Fawn, Sudafon, who uh, also, just so you know, uh, the surfs... Here you go. These emotes, um, the Fawn emote, the uh, imp, uh, Mama Think, the Mama Mauled, the Mama Bloosh. Fawn made all these emotes. Fawn is amazing. An incredible artist. And also my partner, which is super cool, and I feel very lucky. See? Super cool. We're going to call <clears throat> up Blankety Blank's dad or mom, and you're gonna you're gonna get on the phone and you're gonna apologize. And right, so right, I just right. wanna say 
I am sure, I don't want to speak for you, but we'll be very gracious when Stephen's dad calls and puts oh, Stephen yeah. on the phone. When someone apologizes, you, 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 you accept that. Yep. You know, you got I, this I want to make that absolutely clear yeah. that yeah. if um, if Stephen calls to apologize, I'm going to be gracious about it. Yeah, and that's funny that you just reminded yeah, me. Kept right. telling okay, Sam, listen, I know he's obviously being sarcastic, but even with the sarcasm, we all know he's fucking lying. You know, Sam is going to be the most smug, insufferable bastard that this earth has ever seen. That this fucking earth has ever goddamn seen. We'll watch the Hassan interview afterwards, I think, but it's really long. Maybe we'll watch it on Wednesday just so we have fun content me, yeah um, we'll do that after because I'm, uh, I'm on hour I respect nine of anyone streaming that enters the ring back. and I'll make my fans known of that I'm it's very I, I respect that you're willing to enter the ring with me mm. and uh, apparently he doesn't respect that about you no Jesus I guess Christ. not you don't no, have you enough subscribers I don't have enough subscribers <laughs> to earn the respect to enter not the ring. The, when you the, enter the ring, Sam must do so. The, the I'd, I'd like to know where... Sam's that. diminutive clout wasn't enough for, for, for uh, Steven to be satisfied with. He likes He prefers a man with larger clout. At what point you are capable of entering the ring... Uh, and we'll, I'll What's try the to get, subscriber yeah, threshold? Well, is, because the first exactly. time, the first time he made this argument, I only had I think five hundred thousand subscribers, and sure. then, uh, and then it, 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 I feel like it's there's a, the goalposts are like he's dragging them with him as he runs along uh, down the field, and they're just getting further and further. Yeah, away. I mean, I'll try to get more intel on that for you. All right, I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank and, you, you know, Nixon. maybe uh, Thank folks you, can, Nixon, you know, uh, you know, reach out to him on Twitter and ask him politely, you know, uh, w you know, how far are the goalposts? Where's what? what, what yeah, let's sh let's find out so that we can have something to uh, work towards. I think it, I don't right. Know. So exactly. if you can ask can Stephen, what, how many subs does Sam Later, need we'll to be worthy of uh, no risk the big stage? Because I'll I'll show. stick at it just <laughs> to hit that number. Um, and well, we can buy you subs or, you know, we can work something <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you guys imagine if someday I have a million subs? What the fuck would even happen? We would have a fucking, I would put a fucking, a, a, a giant, like, silver screen behind me with gifts the size of the fucking moon. Can you imagine if that ever happened? I would literally lose my mind. I wouldn't be able to handle it. I wouldn't be able to handle it. And the only way I can do that is if you, <laughs> you motherfuckers, sub to the goddamn channel. That's right. I'm going to need you to follow on Twitter, on fucking YouTube. You know it. You fucking know it. See, look at that. That's what we call a smooth transition to a pitch. Like and subscribe the video, my lovely, lovely imps, because we want to go to the moon. You know? We want to go to the fucking moon, bringing a new era of lefty entertainment online. Close up of Crowder's hands. Was he shaking? Was he literally shaking? Was his piss and shit flying? Oh my God. He was fucking death gripping. Oh my God. He was white knuckling. Look at this shit. Look at him. <laughs> literally scared Sam. Chad Sam versus virgin hand gripper over here. Oh, wait, you can't see anything because of the gifts. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see it because of the gifts. Look here, I'll zoom way in. Look, now you can see, kind of, partially. There you go. You can see him white knuckling it. Absolutely just. Oh! There you go. Listen, pro streaming, okay? Pro streaming. Incredible, absolutely incredible, fucking Stephen Coward. No. It's true. Yeah. We could just buy the subs. Yeah. That really occurred to me, but yes, we'll I should have done that. I should have done that grip. today. I should have yeah. bought a, a, oh, really a million like, well, hold subs. Hold on, Stephen. Uh, give me a minute. Um. All right. Well, uh, I've got to. Uh, <laughs> my Christ. show, uh, the 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 uh, pre-record is going to end uh, in about twenty minutes. Uh, the one that is there almost exclusively for Stephen and his dad. And, I hope they're <laughs> and it worked. Yeah, it they did. watched it. <laughs> Amazing. Ama True, this one. Hold on. <laughs> no. It's so true. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Blessed day indeed. <laughs> we got to see an actor whose career peaked on the show Arthur. Arthur fist his way through 10 minutes of talking with Sam Cedar. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day it's been. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Juan, why? Juan, why have you done this to me? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to see this. Oh my god, we have so much memes to go over after. Okay, we gotta finish the video. Amazing that he admit that. <laughs> oh for a god, smart, was... for a parent smart guy, he really shouldn't have said that. <gasps> that was probably the biggest mistake he'd make. Oh know? yeah. Oh my god. And the, the second was... one was coming after me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, See you soon. that was probably the first mistake he made, and then there were subsidiary mistakes uh, that followed. All right, yes. Sam. Ethan, it was a pleasure. I can't uh, right. thank you enough for the opportunity. I'm thank sorry. Thank you. This was great. To yeah. Apologies yeah. to Stephen and his dad for. Uh, yeah. Me too. You know, <laughs> me too. Just feel, you know. All right. All right. Have incredible. A good Bye. You too. Absolutely incredible. This was a beautiful moment in history, and we have all been lucky enough. We have all been lucky enough to live it together.